you've got to deal with some people that aren't perfect in order to achieve change. Joe Rogan isn't calling, to, like, isn't isn't Destiny in a sense. I'm worse right? than Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan's problem. Joe yeah, Rogan's yeah. Joe Rogan had, uh, so and Bernie no. took his endorsement, <laughs> no. and he was thrilled. Jesus. Thrilled. Look, it wasn't even a great look, endorsement. I, I I am not. I look. I am not here to defend Joe Rogan, but I will tell you that Destiny is worse. It feels like a lot of these allegations are like fully aimed at just being like Destiny is a big evil villain, which like fly in the face of so many things that I've seen of him, like debating with staunch conservatives, making a space in the twitchosphere for leftists to actually exist like like i've publicly watched people call him a rapist how many times have you been hate rated on this platform oh my uh, god I've dude they're all victims like do you understand that it's Listen, literally happening in my community go I've in my chat real go fucking in my chat right shit now and, like, how many people have you had to ban specifically to uh, i don't know yet i haven't counted I'd wait like are there only four bands right now what? josie Obama. you defended maddie cakes when she called destiny a rapist that's literally destiny derangement syndrome very transphobic. Wow. I'm glad that person got banned. I mean, the thing is, right? You can have whatever little, like, uh, theory about it as you want. Just whatever. I mean, he can have his assumptions or not, but, I mean, he would need proof, right? So this whole thing of me would just it reek of destiny not having enough brain cells, right? Surely this means you are no longer associated with Vosh now, right? Due to history of Irish laddie? Yeah, Vosh has some pretty fucking yikesy fucking history when it comes to sexual harassment. Unironically, if Prime, like, just does a full, like, hey, I'm sorry, da 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 da, and he goes through the whole thing, I believe in people being reformative. He can, like, I don't care. Like, maybe then I'd associate with him. I've only ever seen Destiny turn on people after logs condemn them. Yeah, I guess, I mean, like, if Destiny doesn't believe testimony from multiple people, right, then that's just on Destiny, then, right? I mean, like anybody can do anything in calls and just be like, well, there's no footage of the calls because people don't record calls. So fuck them. Bosch Prama had Drufto. Where are your receipts? Well, the difference is when it comes to sexual harassment, right? There, there are receipts that he was talking to her in a very inappropriate manner. Gorgeous. If I kiss you, right, then I could just die. There's stuff like that, right? That's already out there. But you can't take a screenshot of him saying something in a voice call. He doesn't want to bring me on because he knows the whole thing is BS. Dude, what the? You know what? Fuck it, I'll do it. <laughs> Dylan. Hello. Uh, how are we doing today? Ah, uh, things could be. I see that? No, but like I, I think that's like whenever I see Destiny get so amped about this particular situation, right? Where he's like, whenever anyone mentioned uh, mentioned something like grooming or power dynamics that sets him off and to me that is the biggest fucking red flag that you could have because i'm like why why is this specifically setting him off i bet it's because he's trying to reverse engineer his logical way back to absolve himself of any responsibility because i'm guessing that he's had uh, this sort of thing i don't know i don't know uh, I, I don't think that's responsible. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't think that's. I. I would not say that about. I. Okay, so I. Uh, sorry, I, I don't. I'm gonna disagree. Um, because I understand where he's coming from. A decent amount about. Whatever I heard or whatever I think I heard is irrelevant because I have no evidence that sexual harassment ever occurred. Regardless, if I thought I heard something inappropriate, the proper thing to do would have been to bring it to his attention directly immediately after the incident and reach an understanding. Not to attempt to shame him and destroy his reputation as part of a public spectacle based on an allegation. I apologize for not holding this uh, matter and dealing with this matter privately. It should have been dealt with privately. I let my emotions get the better of me due to the type of situation that it was. And I should not have let my emotions get the better of me in this situation. And I should have handled it responsibly off live stream in private when we talk about whatever I thought I heard. Uh, those are all the things that Prime gave me on the list, uh, but I'm going to – I just want to go forward and say another thing here, that I handled the situation terribly irresponsibly. I should have talked to Prime when he offered to talk to me immediately when he started getting uh, any sign of uh, what was about to happen. I should have taken that offer. I let my emotions guide my conduct, and I shouldn't do that. Definitely when it concerns what could have been the end of somebody else's career. 
and I shouldn't have let my emotions get the best of me. I should have not have trusted information at face value. And I should have done my due diligence, which I did not do. And for that, I sincerely and hope. And I'll say right now, anybody that is the defending the actions, and I'll say it because you know what? I don't care. Anybody who's defending the actions of Destiny and what he said, and then having the fallout after this with what he did to Maddie. You're no better than people who support Donald Trump after he started the insurrectionist riots. Just as a heads up, what she's talking about is, I don't even think I, there might be a separate post about it. Maddie faked screenshots of DGGers harassing her in Twitter. And she posted on Twitter and said that she was getting harassed. And the screenshots were Photoshopped poorly. And when people called her out on it, she tried to make an excuse of like, oh, I think that my tablet accidentally added that dot there. This is what she's getting mad that people are attacking Maddie over. Because on, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, you're just following your leader. I have no respect for you. None. And neither do the women on this platform. And I'll say right now. <sighs> Maddie Cakes is most likely editing DMs, a very shit analysis. Oh yeah, we can set up with the original tweet posted at 12, 10 a.m. The proof. The first evidence of these tweets, Maddie provides these two DMs that are timestamped to the tweet. This prompted a lot of back to Maddie for Maddie to provide evidence of DMs that were received before her original tweet. This book back is unseen by Disney's friends, and then tweets this, blah, blah, blah. However, in the screenshot, the time zone is off by one hour, making it seem as if Maddie Cake's original tweet was at 1.10 a.m. Maddie sees the tweet and presumably tries to find the first death threat. She then posts this DM claiming it's the first one she's received. That tweet seems to be photoshopped as there's a dot next to the timestamp. So this dot right here doesn't appear on new DMs, but she fucked up and she didn't delete this dot when she photoshopped this um, fake tweet. I am very happy personally for this, and I know a lot of trans creators that are also very happy about this. So, so I don't understand where this like, oh, you need to be able to do this so he can do all these type of things. I, I, I'm just saying as a trans femme, I do not see that. And knowing the trans femmes on this platform, they don't definitely see that either. I'm, it's a good thing and I hope he stays gone. Okay, one thing, I just wanna say one thing quick for chat. I'm gonna have, I am gonna be looking at chat hard tonight with my mods. If you do anything that I think is over the line, misgendering and anything like that, that's like an insta ban, okay? That's like an insta, you're gonna be put on the wall, okay? We're running Dylan Burns gulags, okay? I'm just throwing that out there. Uh, and everyone in chat, you're not gonna tell me who I'm gonna platform. I'm gonna choose who I'm gonna platform. Throw it a loader box. Um, yeah, Destiny's a fucking asshole, but I like his content, so whatever. Um, I don't think Twitch chose to ban him because they uh, were fed up of his uh, toxicity. If that was their uh, threshold, Hassan would have been banned a while ago. Um, I just think. Um, I've got Wait, how long ago did this start? What the Fuck. threshold should be for people getting banned. I don't think Destiny really crosses that. I mean. I think that the toxicity of this community may be God, the this place. fucking loser I is such a performative like, fucking... I know my oh my God. Ago made like a what? Thing, you know, like, God, I hate her like so much. Views, oh, what a fucking loser. And, like, comments under it were pretty like just like just personal attacks and like appearances and all that. So I just thought like if that's someone with like a little 1K YouTube video, I can't imagine what it's like if you end up on his channel with contention. But um, yeah, no, Defa didn't deserve to get banned. I don't think any of this stated reasons qualified me, but yeah, we'll see. Okay, I'm gonna throw it over to Not So Erudite. Uh, yeah, I think IRA said it all pretty well. Um, I don't think we know why, and I think it would be really valuable to know why um, for the community's benefit. Future of Twitch specifically, I mean, I'm super Hold new in this sphere, so I'm probably not the best to predict that. Um, but I think like I think private companies have a choice to do whatever they want with their platform. If Twitch is maybe moving in a direction of wanting to remove politics from its platform for whatever reason, that's within their purview to do. I just think like streamers probably need to potentially anticipate that and then respond accordingly of whether or not they're okay with that and, and kind of go from there. Um, other than that, I think IRI said it uh, all pretty well.
Okay, I'm gonna throw it over to Taft. All right, listen, Destiny, incredible trans femme ally. He's the only reason that people are watching me. I suckle on his teat of clout continually. Uh, he spawned Vosh, who spawned Demon Mama. So I think on the on the creating trans femme creator, he's, he's doing pretty good, even if it means creating people who destroy him. But um, yeah, huge, huge figure on the platform, hugely influential. I think when it comes to him getting banned, it's pretty obvious that he's a liability for Twitch. Twitch doesn't like when people have difficult conversations and difficult topics or when they're challenging the progressive narrative. And they'll look for any reason to, you know, ban those people off the platform. And I think that's terrible. I think that's terrible because social media platforms like Twitch wield huge amounts of power in the state of online discourse. And it's horrifically bad for our society when we become continually fractured into separate communities. I think that's what promotes extremism. It makes it so people aren't able to challenge bad ideas. And, you know, when people are going to cozy TV or whatever, what you see is people get more and more extreme. So I think it's important that people are, are brought together to challenge each other and have difficult conversations. And I think it's disappointing that the economically efficient, business efficient move is to ban people like Destiny, because I think it's clear that he brought on a lot of people who disagree with him, um, people like Vosh and Dima Mama, right? And I think that's good that you have discourse that goes back and forth, and that's the end result of having controversial figures. So we'll get into it more, but yeah, I, I, I think it's not good that he was banned. Okay, I'm gonna throw it over to Sprout. Off Taj being based, all right. So um, I think that th I think that banning people off Twitch, um, honestly, probably shouldn't exist. Um, and you're gonna and you're gonna give me these extreme examples of what about this extremist? What about this extremist? What about this person that did this? What about this person that did that? It's much easier to actually take those opinions and to actually break them down and show the show your audience or show their audience why they're incorrect than it is for them to go to a completely different platform where you can't talk to them anymore, you can't show their videos anymore, you can't literally do anything but just mention them in conversation without getting banned for showing a banned viewer uh, or showing a banned uh, streamer. Um, but with that, you are going to actually be able to break down their discussion, break down their opinions, you're going to be able to prove them incorrect. And uh, to whoever's listening, you may bring back a few people who were extremists and be like, yeah, maybe this isn't as right as I thought it was. And for that reason, I'm saying that no one should be banned on Twitch. Um, we, the Twitch community should come together. The Twitch community should prove bad opinions incorrect, like we're doing here. And then we should then move forward with that. And there's always going to be people who follow them. There's always going to be other extremists that listen to them. You're not going to change their mind. The people you're looking at is the middle ground. And that middle ground just moved to that new platform with that streamer, and they're just going to be, um, they're just going to become more extreme the longer they listen to them and the less they have of uh, um, actual discourse between the topic. Okay, and for the last wrap up, we're going to throw it over to Turk. Yeah, so I resonate a lot with counterpoints and IRI. Um, I definitely don't agree that he should have been banned because we don't know what he was banned for. Uh, but I also kind of resonate with Sprout because if we're going to be able to have true discourse on a uh, social media platform, we need to be able to speak our mind and our opinions in order to flush it out and in order to further the conversation. Because if you just oh, shit. live in an echo chamber, all it's another hate raid, chamber. guys. So, <laughs> oh, no. And, and one thing I keep hearing is that like this guy is bad for these certain things. If you ever put the shoe on the other foot and look at things from a different perspective, a lot of the stuff that a lot of these popular other popular streamers are talking about can also be talked about as radical or insane or super crazy. And I think it would be good for a lot of people on the platform to take a little perspective and actually, you know, try and feel and see what other people are trying to talk about, especially as we go into tonight's conversations. And then as far as his viewers, you know, they may or may not leave the platform. Uh, they're still gonna be a toxic community. What community are they gonna land in? Are they gonna remain as toxic? Uh, so you're not really getting rid of the viewers per se. So that, you know, might be biting the hand that feeds you a little bit. Okay, so I wanna say going into this that it's, I think everybody can tell that the, the lines are a little uneven here. And so- I'll back up Josie, don't worry about it. Okay. But I, I also just want to let everybody know that 
in my moderation, I'm going to be very careful to make sure that the person who it's 1v7, basically, uh, that they have a lot of breathing room. We tried to book other people, but it just didn't work out. Other people were moving, other people just people dropped out, people dropped in, and sometimes this happens. Um, we I made sure to double check with Josie in advance to like everything would be cool for tonight. Um, we still good? Everybody still good? We're doing this? Mm -hmm. Okay, just one. Yeah. I just, I just want to go ahead and start. Okay, you can uh, start. Count, I think that's uh, fair. Counterpoints, go ahead if you want to say something. <laughs> why why oh, would you say she wants to start no, and then... You, you go ahead and I'll back you up. Don't worry. It won't be 1v7. I, it'll be, two, two, be 1.5 well, versus 6.5. Okay. All I'm going to say is that I completely acknowledge that everybody here is a person that is um, supporting Destiny in this. But I, I, I know that I'm taking an unpopular opinion. I know so brave. that just being on this panel against everybody here is going to verify the shit I was talking about. Like, I'm going to get people that are going to hate raid me probably during oh, no. this stream. Hate I'm raid. I'm probably going to get messages that are going to be very transphobic and awful. This is going to happen. And and it is it is something like how I know I'm, I'm going to get fake rape accusations. Every People calling me a bad father, making fun of my I son. Even up for a friend that he brugated and admitted to brugating. I've never it, it, who do, who have I, I ever brigaded? Also dragged for speaking up. This particular topic is exactly why it is hard to speak up. Because who have I ever brigaded so on Twitch? The influencer circle is so massive that if you speak up you're going to get completely brigaded for it. And it, it is an absolute truth. And, and, and it, 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 it is, it is true. Tap, you are, you are simping for him right now. I want to and jump in because I want to sympathize this. with you a little bit, right? Because I understand, I've been on the internet and oh, like, Twitch plays when Pokemon. I was 16, people on Politically Correct <laughs> on 4chan were posting pictures of me like, you know, ripping me apart, saying the most transphobic shit about me, okay? Because I know, I've been on the internet, I know how transphobic it is. And that's, but I think what we need to understand is that's what it's like, right, when you interact with any controversial community. And I think it's unfair to pin Destiny as this like transphobic monster or his community as this transphobic, you know, monstrous place when Destiny has gone above and beyond to ban transphobic people so, when they're, you know, saying transphobic things off but, platform. But he's and the they're transphobe. proven to be... He's the transphobe, I, I don't think he's so. He's not banning himself. No. Okay, okay, Tap, then explain I mean, to me right now this, what's, the this, point, yeah. what's the point of him taking a tweet of a person who has like 100 followers and then putting them up as they, somebody who, uh, who, who appears in, as visibly trans and then go in and then have his entire mob of people go in and make that person eventually delete their account or go private. This has happened time You're just talking time. about him quote tweeting someone? No, like, give me a fucking time. break. If you tweet at someone, you're going to get okay, quote tweeted. That's, that's, that's like that's internet point. You're trying to, but no, 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 you're changing the topic. I said that action <laughs> what was is the point transphobic of here? and he is doing oh, that wait, action. What? Quote in tweeting is transphobic. Trans people is transphobic. No, he's engaging with people trying to say, "Oh, look at this person!" Like, oh, oh you, like, like the the one that I have on my phone about how he posted somebody, and and then he's like, "Oh yeah, good luck." Parent completely going after that person's looks. <laughs> what? That person and making that. Person Did I call a trans person ugly? Look, I might have like, once. I don't like, know. Go, go people right call me an ugly fucking no midget and shit all the time. I can't say you look looks, ugly. Okay. Fuck out of here. Transphobic because you're just picking out a visibly trans person and retweeting them. Oh, I'm going to ban all the people who are transphobic when the first tweet is transphobic. I don't think retweeting bullshit. someone is transphobic. I don't think insulting someone who's trans is necessarily transphobic, right? On I their think looks, that, like, it no, what? On their looks, it is. No, not necessarily. Not necessarily. It depends on how you do it. Because if you're, if you're telling them, if you're like, you know, you're totally unpassing, you're a man, you'll always be a man, that's transphobia. I'll agree with you, right? But if you're just like, if someone's coming at you online and you don't know anything about them, right? And you're in this bantery roast kind of culture, which is like Twitter and most of like early online political discourse, what do you have to go after except for like their profile? You might not even know they're trans, right? But I think this is the consequences of like being willing to engage and have free speech is sometimes you have negative interactions, okay? Like that's part of the internet. And I don't think it makes you transphobic if you beef with a trans person on Twitter or retweet them. 
And, and do, don't these people start with Destiny half the time? It's not like he goes out looking for people to harass. That's Destiny. what they say I, mean, I do. These people uh, react to him. You think? Are you telling me that Destiny goes out of his way to find people to harass? and then tells his community to brigade them. I mean, he can't control every person in his community. It's literally thousands of people. So I've been a member of his community for years. I've never seen him say, let's go brigade this person. I'm yeah, what the fuck? I'd never, never do this. Say anything like this. Okay, so explain this tweet then. If you are engaged in sexual activity from someone and you're surprised by a set of genitals, you are engaging in sexual activity with someone that, uh, that didn't give informed consent, which is rape. He's talking about people <laughs> telling somebody that their genitals are when they when they when they're just there. Like, like that's, 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 not right. that's the that's least controversial wait, take wait, ever. Wait, 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 what do you wait, mean? Th okay, wait. So, um, I want to have the question was to IRI, so I want to give IRI a chance to respond to that. We've had two people raise their hands, and so I also want to start going down that. So I want to have IRI respond to what Josie just said. Well, I'm not familiar with that tweet. Was it to somebody particular? Did he at somebody? Did he quote tweet somebody? So he, I'm not he, familiar he with responded that. to somebody who said exactly this. So we went from rape to probably shouldn't. And then he goes, if you're engaged in sexual activity with someone and, and you have a surprise set of genitals, you're engaging with sexual activity with that they didn't give informed consent to, which is rape. I, I just don't see how that's like harassing that's somebody. Not it's, it's like he's just waiting. He's up. He's weighing in his opinion. When you get on Twitter, I found this out the hard way many times. I say things randomly, and all of a sudden, I get 200 quote tweets and all these people attacking me. Like, that's part of being on Twitter. Also, I mean, but it doesn't even sound like he's he's going after somebody. I, I'd have to see the whole thread. He I'm not trying to give you a hard time. The entirety of the community. Right, what like do you mean? One, what one do another you mean? one you is. Can't say there's that. a reason I just started blocking all trans people on Twitter. True. To get okay. away from I should have. Course, because I should have. Really nothing of value. I should have. Community. That's the most truest. That's the most truest tweet I've ever tweeted in my entire like, life. You know I mean? like, and I didn't even take my own advice. I didn't even do it. What a dumb fuck. Yep. So, but here's here's the thing. If you're, I mean. If you're taking someone home and you're surprised by their set of genitals and they were not and they were not told to you, like I, I I'm confused as to why you think this would be a correct way to go about it. Um, because I know you, Josie. To I call know it rape. To oh, call I'm it not, rape. I'm not saying call it rape. Call it rape was extreme. But we all know destiny was extreme. We all know Destiny was an asshole. Jesus. No one's arguing that Destiny wasn't extreme or Destiny wasn't an asshole. This isn't but even an extreme take, by the way. Is he made a very extreme statement, and then that statement turned into a discussion. But I, okay. I know you, Josie, I know you're very respectful. I think that you would agree with me that it would be wrong to hide the fact that you're trans intentionally and get in bed with someone, and then they'd be surprised at what they find. Especially well, if they're having sex with you on the premise that you it have would, a certain well, set would, of genitals. Yep. Wait, 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 stop, wait, stop, stop, stop. There's a lot of questions Sorry. to Josie. Sorry. Make sure Josie gives us. No, no, Josie, I'm, I'm holding you to you. two people just asking questions. Let's Loner Okay, to okay. Responded. Unless you want to do Yeah, Loner, more. go ahead. Hey, Loner. If you want to hear, I'd let Loner go. No, no, Sparrow, because I just wanted to ask you. So if you're saying that you don't consider that rape and that's extreme, then you're, you're, that's kind of someone who's like falsely, like falsely accusing people of raping them, right? Is that not like I'm, saying, I'm, I'm, I'm saying he went more extreme. Than oh, are we going to think about false rape accusations now? Rape. Destiny called it rape. Um, and he has his own reasons for that. He is he is an extreme personality. Um, the tweets that he posts are meant to be extreme. They're meant to get to get reactions. Like, look, look at his tweets. They're all meant to get reactions. All you can do is scroll through his Twitter feed and realize that he posts what? more extreme than what he actually believes to get reactions. Now, he, he he said it was rape. I don't agree with that, but I think you, Loner Box, would agree that it's wrong. Well, um, yeah, probably. I'm just okay. Probably. Like that, but, but, but I do but, feel but like, thing... that, like was it 2.5 against seven or whatever the fuck? Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. But the, but the thing is, like, look. The trans panic defense. This is what drives me nuts about the Destiny situation. Destiny, when we were talking about the stealthing discourse, he literally said that there are unconsequential forms of rape. And that was one of those unconsequential forms of rape. So now it's rape if a trans person pulls down their pants and they have a penis instead of a vagina, just for that but, act. But didn't, what? Didn't this get no? Like, you know, reverse carded on him recently with the whole stealthing discourse. Like, like the 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 point being that like you can stake out an extreme position 
and obviously, th- okay, so let me let me do my negative indictment because I want to back up Josie a little bit. My negative indictment of Destiny is that some of the shit is just debate, and it, it doesn't really impact like w- the real world implications of what's being said. So, for instance, I'm sure the reason why Josie is deeply offended by this tweet is because she's trans a fucking people moron. try to interact with people on a sexual level. Rape is a very serious crime. So, if uh, there there is a miscommunication and this incident occurs, then rape could be a pretext for violence within that, and this is a real conversation, not just an internet debate, where you post, like, shit post onto Twitter, and then, hey, bro, you want to come on stream sometime? Like, that's the, that's part of the offense. I'll, I'll, I'll share that I was equally offended during the, the stealthing conversation, because I think there was, like, a psych, uh, an unacknowledgement, or a lack of acknowledgement, for the capacity of people to uh, basically have a fight, flight, or freeze response during a sexual interaction that they don't even know that they're going to have. And that showed a certain level of, like, immaturity or ignorance what is he that he was very about? confident about. Wait, what? But the, the question is, is starting these conversations, having everybody fight about it for 24 to 72 hours, actually landing on relatively solid discourse ground Is that of value or is that not of value? Absolutely. And is it worth the initial offense of the extreme statement in order to arrive at the productive discourse ground? Or is it just so toxic that we should do away with it? And I think that's part of the reason why like Destiny stands are standing him is because, yeah, he's a fucking asshole. But he's a goddamn lightning rod who has sparked like dozens of discourses over the past two years, and those have led to solid ground. And it wasn't just the left that he was going after, it was also the right that he was going after with similar discussions. Yeah, absolutely. I I think this is the heart of the discussion, because I think there have been moments where all of us have disagreed with Destiny and disagreed with him vehemently. Like the tweet that you're talking about, Stealthing, I thought that Destiny's messaging on that topic I thought it was irresponsible. I thought he could have said things better. And I didn't totally agree with him. But at the end of the day, I think it's important. You have someone, you know, putting forth these controversial positions and questioning things and starting that kind of discussion and debate. I think that's essential on a platform like Twitch. And it's really sad to me that we've seen this incredible, you know, just people moving onto their own platforms, this kind of echo chamber creation and this push over and over to get rid of, to excise anyone who might challenge your beliefs. I think that's a serious issue. Yeah, I guess I guess when you look at the, the comment that you're saying to both of you is, it is easy to say when the conversation isn't about you 20 times, all the time, right? Like the idea of like, where you're like, oh, it's starting discourse, but it's on the backs of people that are literally suffering. It's like, is that- So really we can't like, talk oh, about them? We can't talk about you that, know, those it's, topics? You know, it's, it's what it is, but yet the people who have to hear it over and over and over, and I sent you don't it have to, to everybody in this chat, where he laughed and said something about a trans person killing themselves and says, maybe we should start embracing the 41%. Listen, right. don't watch Destiny you know, if you don't you want know, to hear I from Destiny. You, I look, look, do you think I watch Destiny or do you think that I'm d- dealing with the people that are triggered by his comments that are plastered Log all over off, Twitter? Okay, like, like, okay so problem. see, you see that? That is that is the win, right? The win is for me to get, get off the internet so people like me aren't giving my opinions anymore. Yes, Just yes. Log if it's so off, bad that it's causing you know, like serious psychological so, issues, don't engage with well, it. You're not enforced but, to engage with Twitch wow. discourse. That's exactly wow! Wow! Log off? That's impossible! Wow! You're telling me that I could not just look at every single fucking tweet? That you're gonna be your aunt, like, like, so the idea that now it's the responsibility for all trans people to just log off the internet if you don't want to no, see something I'm transphobic. Don't watch Oh Destiny. my god. Let, let, okay, let I, do, I don't watch Destiny. I, Bro, you are obsessed with me. On Holy shit, you probably I have a fucking shrine of me that you... I interact with posting I don't think I can say anything because I think it'll become transphobic. Never mind. You're, she has I a shred of me. Absolutely. With. It's the same thing with JK Rowling. Do you think I follow JK Rowling? Do you think I go in and look at JK Rowling? Absolutely not. But every time she tweets, I feel it. It's the same thing that <laughs> happens when Destiny says some bullshit. 
He Listen, goes in just... there and he does that, and then his little network goes and just makes an entire ripple effect across the internet, causing severe damage to a community that damage. is literally under attack with 184 bills across this country coming after us in a very specifically targeted way. And when the man like that goes up there and says, oh, maybe is we should Destiny start embracing the Is Destiny responsible for the trans pills? What? No, like you can use don't, don't, don't words don't on Twitter. Escape. If don't, your don't are like escape. constantly I, sending you Destiny like tweets or escape. pictures, like ask your friends not to do that or ban mute the word Destiny on your Twitter. Like you can you can take responsibility so, so, for your so own blaming mental the victim. health. <laughs> blaming the yeah, victim. It's entirely self-inflicted. Oh yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Like, yeah. Entirely. So blame the victim. <laughs> yeah. When when he makes a joke about maybe we should embrace the forty-one. It's victim joke. blaming to yeah, fucking that, 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 Jesus. Yeah, he did. I put it in the tweet. Take he a look. He said he's trying to be above board and not no, embrace go it. No. Go look at the look at the thing. I literally put it in the chat. Go and look at it. Don't try to be I've willfully the ignorant I've on the, the bullshit. Well, he said maybe we should start embracing the forty-one percent then. Uh, yes, he did say that. He Don't said it's hard that he not it. to, right? Oh my God. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. You understand yeah. what the but implications are? But then he doesn't I do, do want to say right here that saying this it's hard way, not to. Give me, give me a moment. That usually we would play the clip in question so we could resolve it that way. But for obvious reasons, uh, we cannot do that. Um, so people will just have to find the clips other uh, at another location in order to find whether Taft or uh, Josie is correct here. Wait, who is correct? I don't remember what I, do, I said. I thought I said I, it's hard not to. Did I say we should start doing it? Because Turk has been waiting longer than both of you. I don't think I said yeah, that, so no? I've got just main points here, because, you know, Josie, I, I want to be you did, you know, okay. sensitive to this topic, because you are obviously very uh, impacted by what's going on here. But what you said earlier that, or maybe Dylan implied this, that it's 1v7 in this this topic, I don't support Destiny as a whole creator. I support the fact that he shouldn't be banned because I believe everyone should have a chance to be on the platform in order to give their ideas, kind of like what Taft is trying to say. And if people don't like his ideas, we need to reinforce that the, what he is saying, what he is spouting is not a good idea because people can change. People can change their opinions. <clears throat> I've had my opinions changed on these panels and I thanks to Connor pointing out Destiny's thing, you know, I've learned additional stuff. So it's like, you, just because you are impacted by this and you feel like you're being victimized by it, not everyone here supports Destiny in this tirade that you, you're victim complexing on. Yeah, can I just say, like, can I say real quickly, like Josie, I understand he says something once in a while that is, Bother some, and I'm not discounting that at all. I, I, I mean, who am I to say that? I can't just not, not look at Twitter. I don't agree with oh, everything he says. I barely look oh, at his Twitter because it's like the fucking meme, Twitter dude. Because you have to be more bombastic on Twitter to get attention. That being said, he has brought on a ton of trans people. He has brought a lot of focus on trans issues. And do you not think the net positive outweighs the negative? Really? No, he hasn't brought in trans Why? people the way that you're saying. He's brought it's them in front of hundreds of thousands right. of people. Yeah, to get slammed. Like, no, that's not a good thing. he's had great theme. conversations about trans topics with trans the, people. The he's videos, shown them respect okay. like nobody else has. The video specifically that I watched from Destiny had the tran that person on there, and I learned an incredible deal about it. So, yes, some of the stuff and, he's saying yeah. is bad, but there's also the other side of the coin. Right. I mean, didn't he bring you on quite early on when you were running when for I, office? When I, was, when I was running for office, I did. Yeah, he did. <laughs> Wasn't that and then good, he immediately right? called me. And then he called me subhuman after I just criticized lightly on what was going on. Criticized lightly? He called, uh, every, so, he, he calls everybody subhuman. Look, he's probably called me subhuman at one point. I, all, he's all, definitely me subhuman. I can guarantee all, that one. Yeah, all I am saying is that the, what he has done by brigading especially trans femmes. I'm, like, dude, look, I'm, I'm out of control. He's, he's gone on and he said specifically that if you are a, um, if you are not he, him, she, her, they, them, then you're not trans. He has specifically said those words. He has uh, uh, recently in the trans debate completely started <laughs> I'm sorry, transphobic I'm... talking points. Transphobic talking trans points. Women don't belong in sports. Like there are so many examples of how he's done it and laughing at the 41% joke was a Appalling to have Appalling. What is there except for uh, he, she, they, them? Are you kidding me? <laughs> it, like, it's, <laughs> it's, it's like, neo pronouns, fear, fey, fair, 
Like, <laughs> like there's so many. Yeah, there's like, like there's also other internet ways. Bullshit. That is not garbage bullshit. Like, that oh no, life. that's people's identity. That's real life. Are you talking about people making up? Are you talking about? I'm no, sorry. I'm talking about neo pronouns too. <laughs> yes, neo pronouns. People making up their pronouns. Um, they're they are they, certain... all of the type of things. Look, look. All I'm trying to say <laughs> is like this whole thing about like trying to invalidate people's transness is bullshit. And that's what he's. If your doing. transness is being a deer, I. I don't know. We're if not. No. Like no. Okay. Okay. To be clear, we're not going to get into See, the this is this is what it's about. This is because. Uh oh. But here's a clip of the conversation. I know nothing about it, but I have no clue if the conversation is going any way responsibly or not. So we're just gonna. We are gonna have to just swerve out of that direction. I'm just gonna say that. You sure, straight Dylan? Up. I am an expert. I am a certified expert in neo pronouns. So it's up to yeah, you, though. There you go. I appreciate it. Sorry. Fact uh, check. Let's go. To, I do want to throw it to, not so erudite, because not so erudite has said nothing yet. And um, uh, raise your hand. On the list, we have Counterpoint, Sloan, or Sprout. Did anybody need to be added? Kirk again? Okay. That's all right. Yeah. So I didn't. I, I've been hesitant to jump in because I think like the reality of the like 1.5 versus 6.5 is is really real, um, and I want to be like really careful of adding to that. Um, if you guys are maybe open, I, I'm really interested in kind of more of the meta question in this conversation, which is like, to what extent is provoca provocateur behavior okay. beneficial for certain political discourses? How can we use it to benefit certain groups? And to what extent does it maybe sometimes harm? I'm just writing a paper for my that maybe it online might English class right helping now. Sorry. Or, or vice right. versa, because I, I think like a lot of this is like listening to the psychology lady talk. behavior that we're taking issue with. And so I'd be curious about like, to what extent, like, where do we draw the line on these things? So let me answer that question for you, Eurydite. Um, I don't draw the line. I think everyone should be allowed on Twitch. I think everyone should be allowed to have their voice heard. Um, I think that if you are going to be an extreme person and you're going to try and po you're going to try and uh, post and publish these extreme views, then you're going to have people that are going to go against those extreme views. You got people that are going to be able to break down that argument and actually prove it wrong by breaking down the argument in front of their own audience. The people that are in the middle, the people that aren't convinced. Can I say later? There's nothing to go. Because let's be oh. honest, you're not going to convince me. To Should I not be here? I'm sorry. You're not going to convince me to become a liberal. You, I'm a conservative. But the people that are in the middle of both sides that aren't convinced, they're going to listen to what you say and they're going to be like, ah, okay, I do realize he's wrong. There is one boss. But without oh, you okay. being there with these extreme websites where they go to where basically it's just extremists that Twitch has banned or YouTube has banned and it's just become extremist central over there, that they're going to become more, um, they're going to become more, uh, I, I forget the word, extremized. Radicalized. Radicalized. They're, become, they're going to become more radicalized just by being on that site because there's no actual discourse happening. They're just stating what they're saying. These people are taking it as fact. If they were on Twitch, they would have people saying, no, 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 that's not that's not right. What, look at this and how I break it down and how it's wrong. And take this and here's the fact. Josie's right? incapable of doing but that with though. These so. With these extreme websites, with they're going to become more radicalized. They're going to become more extreme by the second because no one's there to say, no, this person's wrong. And as a matter of fact, we can't even play their videos on Twitch. Otherwise, we're going to get banned. So we can't even play their videos and say, look, this is where he goes wrong. You Otherwise, can't criticize them. Can, can I ask? I'm sorry. I'm not supposed to do this. But can I ask you one question, Sprout? Yeah. If Jihadi John started a uh, Twitch channel and he started going like, man, look at, oh my gosh, man, those Americans dumb, man. You, you, ICE is actually pretty cool, boys. I mean, like, mm. like, what would you, do you think that person should be banned? Jihadi John, you know, the. No. No? Okay. No. Uh, I wanted to By say. By the way, I do the, want to uh, clarify Jihadi John would play League, okay? And he'd probably rank higher than Destiny. Okay, sorry. Well, Good one, Dylan. What character? I don't know. I don't know enough about League to tell you, which means I'm pure. Okay, so I we're just wanted to say about the zillion. We got. I'm sorry. We got the list. Your second on the list. Okay. Counter. I mean, loner. Sorry, I'm mixing up. Counter. Yes, I'm gonna. I'm gonna capitalize on this. So the the good job. I, I, I get ten person bro. panel. Oh, I'll bring my, my centrist nuance thing. 
I think that we should start socially enforcing real life rules where if you were in public and there was a trans person there, you're not gonna run up to their face and start misgendering them aggressively without getting your fucking, like getting punched in the fucking face. So no, I don't think that the internet has like a Who unlimited- Who does this? What are we even talking about right now? Why is this guy talking? As shitty as you are on the internet as you are in real life. I think real life rules should apply. If this is something that can get me punched should in I the like face, this? then it is something that can get me a suspension off of a social media website. I think that is a uh, fair guidance to start enforcing. And then um, going into uh, discourse on the back of trans folk. That was the one thing that Josie said that like I super identify with because I was offended by one discourse over the past six months, not every other discourse for the past six months. So I'm sure it can be exhausting. And uh, I, I sympathize with that part, but the truth is that a lot of these discussions aren't settled. They're only settled within certain spheres of the internet. And what I mean by that is that uh, whether we're talking about neo pronouns or trans folks in sports or something like that, these are settled within lefty what? spheres. But the truth is that they don't dominate all of social media spaces. Okay. And there are other people that these arguments need to be had for. So while it's deeply uncomfortable, and I understand that because, like I said, I've only been offended by one discourse in the past six months versus every other one, uh, I think these discourses need to happen. As a matter of fact, you can even see the progress within right-wing spheres where uh, I, I know that this is, I know this is crazy to think about, but the fact that some trans folk are accepted within right wing spheres because they're binary trans folk. Oh my God. And now the progress has moved to, okay, binary Jeez. trans folk are a thing, but now non-binary isn't a thing. <clears throat> I thought these cracks gay people are again. a thing, but uh, polyamorous people aren't a thing. So you can see the the kind of the, the progression of discourse as it moves. Of course, conservatives and traditionalists are going to absolutely hate this. But the truth is that the, the language and the layout has completely changed. Why does this of take so long? Oh my the, God. It's, the it's like they feel like they need to have as much talk time as possible. I think does a disservice to the kind of conversations that you would be having in 2011, 2012, because basically what would happen is two people would show up, one trans, one non-trans. The non-trans person would have started saying slurs and then they would have been kicked out or the trans person would have quit. That would have been the quality of discourse that would have been happening in 2011 or 2012. Whereas now we're having conversations about well, what are the lines on sports? What are the HR, you know, what are the hormone replacement uh, profiles? How long does it take for competitive advantage? What are the kind of sports that we can kind of like m move into safely versus not safely? These are all nuanced discussions. We're just all dickheads with webcams. So the, the conversations suck. Uh, but but yeah, that, that's where I'm saying like as shitty as it is, I think that there is real progress and productivity here. And I'll, I'll leave it with that. Yeah. Can I ask? Thank well, jo I'll look, throw the Josie. Go ahead, Josie. I'm gonna yeah, say gonna one like more Josie. thing real quick. Don't okay. you like Connor? So, yeah, I do. No, no, it just takes so a long like, time to say things. Do, do, so is everybody okay with Nazis not being on this platform? Just question. No. Hands up. No. You? Yep. No. Yeah. No. So 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 y'all are all okay with Nazis being on this platform? Yes. I debate. I debate Nazis. Yeah. I'm willing really to debate them honestly, too. Yeah. They need to be defeated. Like they need to be like brought out into the light and systematically destroyed. I, I want to just say, even though I'm not even supposed to, to respond, them. I want to just put for the yeah. record that I want them banned, okay? Yeah, yeah. So do you think it's it's Twitch's prerogative and right to ban Nazis off this platform? Yes, I think sure. a private company can do whatever a private company it's wishes to do. It's their right, okay. yeah. So, so no. do you, do you, do, do, okay, so do you agree then that the, would you say that the reason Twitch would ban Nazis off this platform is because they don't want that to be affected with their brand and they don't want to be associated with possibly hurting real life people. The most cancerous yes. argument. What about yes. the private company's ability okay. to protect yeah. their brand? Like, and okay, like wow, Josie, the hardcore yeah. capitalist so, so now. I would, I, would, okay. I would assume it'd probably be the same with KKK and really any affiliated groups like Dylan was talking about, like e Equally with, bad stuff happens on the other side of the political spectrum too by the sure. way so, so, equally, so, so if it's like Haas and Hassan maybe I don't know like we, 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 we can we can have that conversation but as a trans woman and through all of the the conversations like TERFs are a hate group right TERFs are people who want trans people eliminated they want them dead they want them lynched they Jesus. Uh, the gender critical uh group is a radicalization pipeline that's not representative of all the, turfs by the way basically but, okay. elimination of trans people to be able to exist in this in this world 
So for me, when I see transphobia and people who agree with those types of ways, I see them like Nazi, right? Because they want to see me dead just as much as a Nazi wants a Jewish person dead or, or an extremely bigoted racist or a KKK member wants a black person dead. And, and plenty so of anti-fascists want people wait, like me I'm to sorry. be gone. I hate to interrupt, but so, uh, Danobo, our, our mover and shaker head, okay, has just provided me a transcript of what was uh, said earlier, the entirety of the back and forth. I think everybody's okay if I, if I read it. This has to do with the 41% uh, joke. Everybody okay if I read it? Okay. Sure. Uh, somebody donates, and the donation message says, Take comfort from the fact in 30 years this person will kill themselves. Destiny responds, Jesus Christ, it's tempting to embrace the 41 jokes, but I'm trying to stay, I don't even know why, this one, I'm trying to stay above board. That was what I wanted to bring up yeah. earlier. It was like, because so, Taft, you were saying that, like, you said that he didn't want to say it, but yeah, you said it's tempting to embrace. I think you can, I mean, I think we can agree so that, like, there's a pretty, there's a pretty fine line. Like, his yeah, end okay. result is that he doesn't want to, that he's trying okay, to be okay, a okay. best boy. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, no, so I hear what you're saying. Okay, you okay. Not to. Yeah, so, okay. On. After you've been trying to destroy my life? Yeah, wait, you can't have a single wait, shred of empathy? Wait, what the fuck? What do you think? That's my point, like, quick about what I was saying. I'll let you finish. I just want to finish. I want to get to the list. Erudite, I'm adding you. Point, you're already on it. Jesus. I'm saying as a trans woman, and I know a lot of trans people in this space also agree with the fact that TERFs and transphobes are a hate group that leads to the want for us to roadblocks ourselves to the point where it's like, it's tempting to want to let that kind of thought go through your mind. That's what I'm talking about. The fact that the end result is for us to be gone and eliminated and dead. Oh my God, dude, she's so fucking stupid. Is the reason stupid. why Twitch is going to probably start cracking down on this type of behavior because it is ultimately ending up with the fact that suicide rates of our community is going on the rise currently because of the fact that there is a large community in society that don't even want us to exist. And a lot of these people are parents. And, so and people are losing their lives. So this type of behavior increases that mental stress that is going to cause people to lose their lives you know what? with those tandem of all these bills. Banning him doesn't get rid of those ideas though, right? It doesn't push, it doesn't disappear but he's a trans leader folks of to it, move though. him off A the leader. Right? I'm the it leader of the trans folks now. Like even if you believe he's this horrible I, transphobic look, like Nazis person. Nazis are in a trans echo chamber and so are, and so are KKK members. And so okay. are all these really viciously violent people oh, that want us dead and it's bad that society's become fractured in this way okay and when you push like it. if you believe he's transphobic right banning him off twitch it doesn't delete the transphobia from the real world like if you don't want to see the transphobia on twitch specifically again don't watch destiny don't engage in spaces where destiny is brought up right and as far as transphobia in in the real world that's going to exist whether or not you ban him so the solution like of banning him doesn't actually fix the problem in any way that you couldn't personally fix yourself by modifying how you engage with the online sphere. Josie, so I have Can a I couple points. Uh, I, I actually, I want to go to the list. I'm sorry, there's a list here, a list that's developed over time. So if I, if I, if I wait, then it's going to be, it's going to be, um, it's basically going to be irrelevant if I wait. I've been waiting for fucking ages. That'd be this funny. Is, and that's, be and that's why you're going to wait, because it will then be funny, and I'll say haha. So I'm going to throw it the loner. Yeah, so yeah, I just wanted to go back to the 41% thing. Promise. Okay, so, yeah, so tough. Like, of course, okay, yeah, he said, like, it's tempting to say that um, I don't want to, but I don't know why I don't. Like, okay, come on, like, plausible deniability here, right? Like, I know you're saying that just because he said he doesn't want to do it, that means he's definitely, you know, not okay with it. But it's like, you know who wouldn't actually agree with that argument you just made? There's destiny. He very convincingly since when know, would i ever do plausible deniability just because you're a fucking cuck pussy on the internet doesn't mean that you know, i am you can't simultaneously be on a platform talking about how i'm the most offensive know, asshole in the world and, the and then say that i operate like, under a, a, um, a veil of plausible deniability why the fuck would i do that it's an orange light at best i think you can probably also agree that like the difference between that and calling someone like a subhuman piece of shit okay whatever if someone calls me a subhuman piece of shit like i guess if destiny does i'll call it a rite of passage but like, um, there's a bit of a difference between that and invoking like targeted, like, um, you know, 41% is very targeted, a very vulnerable group. I mean, like, yeah, I you think can we probably can say that's not okay. Um, 
I just wanted to say one more thing as well about, about the Nazis. The difference with the Nazis, though, is that like it's it's the behavior that goes with the um, it goes with the ideology. Right, right. So that's like I think everyone who engages with um, Destiny in a bad way and he hits back at them. I don't think I often see it when people don't fire first, right? He reacts to people. Like um, I don't think I've, I tend to see him like go for someone unprovoked. That doesn't seem to happen. Whereas Nazis will attack people who didn't provoke them at all. That's their typical pattern of behavior. And I don't think you should expect people on Twitch to everyone to have like balls of steel to expect target to uh, harassment from Nazis. Cause like if there are a bunch of Nazis on Twitch, they will deliberately target gay and fucking trans people and all that. And then those trans people will get chased off the platform. So you actually, you don't actually believe in free speech when you say that. You believe in taking a side and letting Nazis chase people off the platform because they will do that. Can I do a direct oh, response to that? I, uh, I need, nope, I need, Nexus I need Okay, so Josie, do you believe in the ACLU? Do you, do you support the ACLU? Yeah, they fight for equality of humans. Okay, do you understand the ACLU has defended Nazis before? Has defended, like, the worst of the worst speech before? Yeah, Sprout, they defend they, them. So, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, Loner Box. Go ahead. Yes, like... Because <laughs> Josie has no good response. I, I might be wrong, is they tend to um, defend people, like... Um, more from like in a legal sense whereas we're talking about twitch we're talking about a platform like a gaming platform with terms of service it's not really comparable well twitch think, but... twitch has become a twitch has become a platform where it's open discussion that's what twitch has become it's become a platform that's been open discussion and i think that if you're going to make it a platform that becomes open discussion then you need to implement the laws of free speech because at that point you practically make yourself the town square just as twitter uh twitter actually um they testified underneath court that they were practically the new town square. So you can look at social media as the new town square. Now, with that being said, the ACLU has defended Nazis before. They defended the worst of the worst speech before. Why? Because you need to defend the worst of the worst speech in order for there actually to be def actually to be free speech. Because if you don't defend the worst of the worst speech, then there is no free speech. Eventually, your speech is going to be bad speech, and you're going to be banned for what you're saying if it can keeps going down this line. Now, that is why the ACLU defends Nazis, defends the worst of the worst speech, because free speech depends on the worst of the worst speech being allowed to be said. Again, the ACLU were defending, like, they, so I think their big controversial thing was they defended, like, neo-Nazi marches, okay? Because, again, this is a legal sphere. We're talking about Twitch, where, again, like, do you, th okay, do you think that, According um, to CBS I News. need to know, I need to know if you just, if you think this, though, but I need to, if you think Nazis being on Twitch, do you think they will succeed in harassing, um, like, trans people or vulnerable people off the platform? Will they succeed in doing that? Do you think they'll try, no, they'll try to do that? No, I, I, I honestly, I honestly don't think so. I think, I think people will still be here. I think this is a very low platform for the right, but yet I'm still here. I think you will find people that are of a certain class that have enough, um, have enough self-security that they're able to actually talk and not be able Jesus. to take the shit that people give them I can't even and be able to mouth. continue to push their message. Those are the people that are going to be the icebreakers, and they're going to be able to allow so many more people of their uh, of their thinking to come behind them. Um, and I think that's where you're going to find people to Put break my open in the, oven. the area for their uh, their thought of their their thought of school. So or their school of thought. So when you when you bring it up that way, no, I think there's going to be an icebreaker. It's going to bring their school of thought, and then people are going to follow that icebreaker. They'll be like, you know what? I'm going to start. I'm going to start talking about this too. I'm going to start bringing this up too because this is a this is a matter that is important to me, and I think that I need to start talking about it. I'll bite the bullet, so loner box, and I'll say, yeah, some trans people are not going to feel comfortable on the platform if there are people who are bringing up controversial things, or there's a community of people who go into chats and challenge trans people on very fundamental things that they don't want to talk about. For example, like their gender identity, the core of who they are and whatnot. But I think that we have to, we have to one, give people the tools to manage their own community and to ban people. And if that's not enough, I don't think that there's like a fundamental, I don't think there should be like a fundamental right to use, um, you know, to just go anywhere you want without any, ever seeing any kind of controversial items. I think it's good for society and for the health of our discourse that there are controversial topics discussed and that those things are discussed and challenged and debated openly, right? And I think it's negative if we are just catering to like the most sensitive people in society and modeling how we do discourse off of that. Can I pretty please respond? Um, so no, Turk. <laughs> 
Turk has to go. He's been waiting longer. Go Fuck for it, Connor. Me. Go for Thanks, it, Thanks, Turk. I love you so much. All right, so, Loader, I wanted to respond to you directly. So, so number one, I just want to explain kind of, like, my generation, because I think, I think uh, Destiny and I are approximately the same age. We were saying horrific shit, mind-bendingly, like, awful shit in the 2000s, and we thought it was hysterical. F-slurs, N-slurs, slurs, T-slurs, every slur that you could imagine, just strung together in sentences. Instead of, like, you know, we, we basically boiled it down where we were playing, like, tactics in Call of Duty, and instead of calling out actual tactical moves, we were just using slurs for communication, okay? That's what the thousands were like. Now, as we've evolved as human beings, we've had to stop doing that, but there's always been this temptation to say evil, nefarious, edgy, taboo, dog shit okay it, it, it's just on the cusp of every single white man's heart to just spam slurs in chat okay so basically what i'm saying is there's always a temptation to be edgy there's always a temptation to be a piece of shit there's always a temptation to be a dick and with that 41 percent joke while you're reading it as oh yeah actually i agree with the 41 percent joke i think this all comes in the context of Destiny basically losing his Twitch partnership like last year, which I think was like a quarter of a million dollars or something like that. And so I think that being frustrated with a certain caliber of woke person that you don't agree with on where the lines of language and humor are, it can lead you to being frustrated and making shitty, edgy fucking jokes. So uh, I can see where you guys are saying it's cutting one way, where he just wants to say a 41% joke because he hates fucking trans people and he wants to stab them in the chest. I could see it going the other way, where he actually genuinely does like trans people, but he's fucking pissed off and he's tired of all these woke scold fucking dickheads policing his language. So he just wants to say something edgy and shitty in order to throw a grenade in the room. I am telling you, this is the way most people feel. As a matter of fact, within my Discord, my Discord, because I debate leftists primarily, is primarily made up of leftists who hate fucking leftists. So it's literally leftists using the fucking F slur all day. And when I'm drinking a beer and playing Halo with them, I have to remind myself that it's not 2007 and I'm playing with a bunch of bisexual men who love using the F slur and I can't use it. So the point being that this is all immediately under the surface and it's more in this pseudo professional setting where everybody puts on the, the respect pseudo respectability of the TOS. Okay. And then I did want to bring this up. The second point that I wanted to address is you were asking whether or not there should be fascistic thought leaders within uh, social media spaces and if they should be allowed. I think that if you are promoting an ideology, however nefarious, whether that's um, Islamism or uh, basically jihadism, not jihadism because that's specifically violent, um, but like fascism or something like that. I think that if you're articulating this as an ideology to be studied and understood, but you're not violating TOS, then that can be like debated from an academic standpoint and left alone from an academic standpoint. Where it crosses the line, though, is when you start engaging in the negative behaviors like brigading, harassment, stalking, um, all that kind of stuff. And I would like to see not only enforcement mechanisms where you get banned off of social media platforms for doing that stuff, but also like criminal shit. Because basically, uh, if you're doing like stalking, let's say that you're stalking somebody, you're trying to dox them, you're finding their personal information, you're publishing it online, you're harassing them, you're calling their family members, you're publishing their financial information. If this was a in real life scenario, that would be a prosecutable crime. The only reason why it's not a prosecutable crime is because we're on the internet and there's no enforcement mechanism. So on one hand, I want broader freedom for ideologies to be propagated. On, an, uh, on another hand, I want these uh, negative social behaviors to be policed both from a TOS and also potentially from a legalistic standpoint, depending on how far it goes. If I can provide an olive branch and maybe a bit of middle ground too, well, I agree. Well, I'm I sorry, think like I need to silence a trans voice and hand it over to a conservative <sighs> man, okay? Turk? Fucking bigot. Uh, I'll take Connor's spot later. You sure? Yeah. Okay. I'll I, trade I, it. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, y'all are having good conversation, and I don't want to impart. And, you know. Okay, I'll throw it over to Taft, and then we have Iri, then Erudite. 
Okay, yeah, just to find some middle ground. Um, I think it's very legitimate to ban people off of the platform if they're, for example, using slurs or if they're like actively encouraging their community to harass people, not just engaging with a trans person, but actively saying like, you need to go harass this person, get in their mentions, you know, say these things to them. I think those are like legitimate bannable things um, and they're not productive. They don't, you know, contribute to the discourse or whatever. And so I think that if we're just banning those things, yeah, I think I'm all for that. But I also want to agree with, you know, what Counterpoint is saying. And that's that, you know, if you're discussing, for example, like radical Islam beliefs, but if you're doing it in a mature academic way, in a way that like, you know, isn't actually planning a crime on stream or engaging in violence on stream or using slurs, I think that that needs to be something that we have the freedom to openly debate and discuss. Okay, next is IRI. Oh, so I, I just want to speak about Josie's point in wow, general thanks, about Lewis. hateful Hello, people. I, I think that these groups of Nazis and bigots and racists, they're hateful because of a lack of empathy. And I think that comes from a lack of exposure. I know when I was younger that I had some negative ideas about people because I only saw things on the internet or in movies and stuff like that. I grew up with Ace Ventura, you know what I mean? And there was some bad things in that movie that, that uh, made me feel one way. But once I got older and I was exposed to more people, that got rid of those things. And I realized these people are just like me. And so I think if you take that away and his audience, Destiny's audience, for example, and they don't see him engaging with anybody, then they're going to continue these negative stereotypes. Maybe that's just my opinion, but that's that's my lived experience. And I think that, you know, especially on Twitch, where 6% of Americans use Twitch, 1% of them regularly get their news. How many people is Destiny reaching with this outburst once in a while? And again, I don't think that negates all the good he does. I think that there are people out there that look and research and find ways to prove a point and fit their narrative about destiny and completely ignore all the good things he does. And I don't care if people say, oh, this guy's just kissing destiny's ass for help, whatever. It's the truth. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, did you want to respond to that, Josie, since that was uh, in response to your general point? Yeah, and, and and we can we can start wrapping this topic up because it's just going to go around and around again all so, so I will just say that with the picture that Taft and uh, painted and Connor just painted of like Destiny being this academic research, like well-meaning, like all this type of stuff, he has openly many times talked about how he's aggressive to people, that he 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 goes after people with smaller smaller platforms. No, he has he's been abusive. He's just abusive. And and he should have not been on that one point when somebody gave him money on a dono is like, oh, that's fucked up. You're out. Right. That would have been able to say, like, no, fuck you, dude. Like, you're gone. Right. But it wasn't. It was like, oh, it's, it's yeah, why the fuck would not, I keep you know, bending the knee to your community? Like, that, it's right? so but cringe. He knows dude. that he's what an entitled fucking loser. I mean, hell, he even went on NFTs because he knew he would eventually get banned for that, this type of behavior. And 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 I'm going to I'm going to I'm, I'm going to push back with you. I, I, I love you. You know that, you know, we 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 fight on the same battlefield of politics and trying to get, you know, good legislative policy that helps people. But in my opinion on this, like having people who do good things sometimes and then does and does a lot of negative harm a lot of times is not a justification to keep this going. Like, look, Destiny's been banned many times for these type of behaviors. No, it's one other back, time before. Many times and came what? back. Many times and came back. And it's just Twitch is just tired of it. And and so for me, I look at it as hateful. Uh, behavior that has been platformed over and over and over again. And the trans community, I'll tell you, the trans community has been very happy to see this aggressive person leave this platform because it makes our community better as a whole of this community of Twitch streamers. And even if you liked him and maybe he platformed you, maybe he didn't, the fact of the matter is all of you are good enough without Destiny being here propping you up. And, oh. and it's about having that content that you can create, that you can be able to have good intelligent discourse. And don't get me wrong, we're supposed to debate 
transports later. And I really want to get to that. And I want to have an intellectual conversation mm -hmm. about what the advantages are of HRT and how it, how, it, how it equals things out. And I'm ready to have that intellectual conversation because it's very relevant to the fact that 80, uh, 83 bills in the country, no, 70, sorry, 74 bills across the country are trying to specifically ban trans people from sports. I'm not saying that we can't have discourse about trans people. I'm not saying that we can't have an intellectual conversation <sighs> Dude, about- Dude, kill me. Oh God, this fucking Look, horse. Me and Sprouticus had a very good conversation about trans issues and and we and it, and, and, and it, and it turned into a great conversation and I feel that it did an actual good. But having a continual aggressive person that does attack and does do this harassment campaigns on people is a good thing. And if you if you if you got to believe that logic because you have to play it through like can he's I an aggressive respond? individual. Can, can I just respond quickly, Josie? To me, this is the same as Bernie Sanders taking Joe Rogan's endorsement. You've got to deal with some people that aren't perfect in order to achieve change. Joe Rogan isn't calling, to, like, isn't isn't destiny in a sense. I'm worse right? than Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan's Rogan. problem. Joe uh, Rogan's yeah. Joe Rogan had, uh, so uh, and Bernie no. took his endorsement, <laughs> no. and he was thrilled. Jesus. Thrilled. Look, it wasn't even a great look, endorsement. I, I I am not. I look. I am not here to defend Joe Rogan, but I will tell you that destiny is worse because of the individual <laughs> attacks on trans people. Holy so shit! Dude. That individual attack. Not delusional. So people. Absolutely not, not delusional. Rogan. By the way, Josie, I guess. Do you think that people who do you think of people who generally uh, talk bad about trans people or talk uh, or or even transphobic, do you think that do you think they don't deserve a space to actually talk where there, it's not going to be people that are just more radicalized and to where actually people like you can pop in and say, hey, this is where this is wrong, this is where this is wrong. Do you not think they deserve that space to actually engage in the public discussion? I mean, I, I've, I've had many of those conversations that weren't destiny. Press X to right? doubt. I and, doubt this person has ever thing. talked to a person like, they disagreed like with in their entire life without trying to spam report look, them after. Do you, do you realize that a lot of the reason why a lot There are so many copy-pasted people like this. ...is because they're afraid of the backlash, doxing, attacks... Doxing? All of those things. Who has like, ever been doxed? Like, I mean, everybody here has got to know that, right? Like nobody takes a shot at Destiny because of the fact that his entire community no one, dogpile you like I, shit. I feel that it's fear impossible every day to go after people, people dogpile me. Eight shots at that. Destiny. I'm getting like, anyway, anyway, every wait, single wait, day. Wait, oh my wait, god. Wait, 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 what the fuck? I'm gonna throw it over there, Rodai. I'm I'm struggling because a, a lot of these accusations, like I I would I would understand Joseph being like I agree that there are times like I would never say the things the way that Destiny does basically ever. That's not my style. Um, the issue is that like a lot of these claims about like brigading and all these things like seem like pretty unsubstantiated. Like when I've like looked into them, and my concern is that like there seems to be like a bit of a narrative being built of like vilifying Destiny, which is completely flying in the face of so much good that I've seen. And yes, there's going to be problematic elements and I'm willing to explore what those are and the proper responses to those things. But my issue is that it feels like right now, like there's so many accusations. I have like some of the things that I've seen that are being levied at him and his wife and his family are like mind blowing targeted saying attacks. Melina is a Whereas Nazi. Most of the stuff I've seen from him is retweeting specific individuals in a public space versus getting like, I don't think he's DMing people. My understanding is that when people in his community are going out of their way to brigade, to hate on people, we to ban do them. sort of like banning and toxic and like these behaviors that I would agree are super toxic, they get banned yep. from all of his community. Dono didn't get banned. That dono didn't get banned. How do you he ban a dono? Immediately. And look, Eridai, I'm not trying to sit here and say, you're wrong and you don't understand on how it's happening. And look, I know a lot of people who have been personally hurt by Destiny when it comes to what his community has done. And most of them are trans femmes. And, and it's very clear. And look, do you think that all these trans people are just lying about it? Josie, can the I point five? Oh my God! Are you... On the other side that are supporting him, and so it's like the issue is like to act like it's like it's this not as many as the other way. It's not. It, look, are you trying to say that all of these people who have made this claim over the last eleven years are just lying about it? Oh, eleven years? Bro, there were no trans people in it eleven years ago. It was the worst place in the world to be a trans person. Are you serious? Voices, terrible. Okay, Listen, okay, Destiny's okay. gone. Someone needs to take the role, all right? Okay, okay, sorry. <laughs> Erudite, can you can finish wow. quickly? 
Yeah, I, 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 it, it feels like a lot of these allegations are like fully aimed at just being like, Destiny is a big evil villain, which like fly in the face of so many things that I've seen of him, like debating with staunch conservatives, making a space in the Twitchosphere for leftists to actually exist. Like, it seems like so many of these claims that you're making, like, you're making huge claims right now. I am, because like, they are I haven't seen real. Josie, can I back you up? Any of this. Yeah. Josie, can I pretty please back you up? That's a concern to me. Hey, Counter, okay, you can so, back them up, then we gotta go to Turk. Yeah, who's been so waiting so unbelievably patiently. Lona, I'll write your name down. Okay, so I I love like throwing playful elbows at the DGG community. Sometimes they're not taken playfully, and also uh, you know I, we've had debates in the past where it's uh, been contentious. So I'll put it that way. The way that the DGG community often uh, dogpiles is literally getting into your mentions and saying, I'm not harassing you. Where's the picture of harassment? Where's the picture of harassment? Where's the picture of harassment? And it's 50 fucking people in your mentions asking for the, picture, the, the pictures of harassment. So if you took a snapshot, like literally, if I took a snapshot of the people who were in my mentions, or if I took a snapshot of the people who were in other people's mentions, it would be 50 to 100 fucking people saying, I'm not harassing you. Which, by the way, for me, is the digital equivalent of somebody sticking a fucking finger in your face and pretending that they're not in your personal space. So while I do understand, like, I'm actually, I, I'm, I'm halfway with uh what erudite said where i haven't seen substantiation of the the like stalking or doxing or criminal activity or anything like that but i have seen twitter and twitter and fucking comment youtube dog piles basically do like like i said not saying a malicious comment but 500 fucking people saying a mildly annoying comment and to sure. pretend that that's like borderline like, like i'm not saying destiny endorses this or anything like that but to me that's that fair. shows a certain cleverness no within the the <laughs> dgg community where they know that as long as they individually don't say hey you're uh inserts this is so bullshit so like somebody says that like destiny's community harasses me and he's a rapist and then like a thousand people tweet at you they're like wait where is the evidence that anybody harasses you where's the evidence oh look see you're harassing me i gave my food one second without having the uh the receipts actual effect so so that's where for me this area is a lot more fucking nuanced than dgg stems want to fucking do hey, connor so. Connor, you think Destiny can control even 50 people saying stuff in his community? This is a guy who's thousands of people but watching he, him. He has no control over this stuff. Can I, can I do the direct response? I think that, okay, so I think this is part of uh, where I'm sympathetic to both sides because I'm a content creator and I went from, you know, 1,000 subs to 15,000 subs. There are a lot more people who are saying annoying shit to me every fucking day. And the fact that they don't think that I will come down and say, hey, motherfucker, here's the stupid shit you fucking said. The fact that they think that I won't do that makes me do it more. And I quote tweet the fuck out of people if they're being annoying and shitty to me because hey, fuck them, right? But Destiny's a huge, huge operation, man. He, true, everybody thinks he's some true. guy who just presses start stream and then he sits there all day and replies to Twitter. The guy's well, got businesses and stuff, man. Like, okay, okay. Board. No, no, like, but, but, this is, but this is what I was going to say is, so I'm sympathetic to Destiny's perspective where people come at you and they think because you're big, you're not going to go back after them. And it's like, fuck you, I'm a human being. I got feelings. I'm coming back after you, right? I'm sympathetic to that part of it. The part of it that I think we have to acknowledge as a power dynamic is that if you're a fucking person with a hundred follows or, or whatever, and you quote tweet that motherfucker, then they're going to get dogpiled. It's just the nature of the beast. And then here, here's one more thing where I'll say towards Destiny, because I'm acknowledging the power dynamic that I think uh, goes against him, is one of the things that he's, he has said in the past, and I think this is an almost verbatim quote, is I don't, I don't start that. Right? Like, I don't start that. You come after me, you better believe that I'm going to come after you. Where's the full donut? And if you don't want me to come after you, then don't fucking quote tweet me in the first place. So I think that's almost fair, but I also come from like a Christian meta ethic where like people, if people are being dicks, it probably means that they're having a shit day for a different reason. And I think he's probably evolved enough to know that he's like pissed on the shoes of a lot of fucking people and to act like those people, it, it's a cycle of violence, okay? So pretending that you're not perpetuating the cycle of violence is a little bit, it feels childish at some point. 
I think you also have to consider like what kind of side you're on when you're doing this because I remember for ages I used to think like people would complain about the Twitter left. I'd be like, what? I, I don't understand this problem. Like, where are these people? Until I tweeted out that Kyle Rittenhouse was in self-defense. And then the fucking onslaught, like sure. the bad empanadas and the I'm fucking, sorry. you know, the Hold gang on. comes in. And then, you're, yeah, and these actually, I actually found that a lot more rabid than anything I've got from DGG. I mean, I'm watching their chat when, like, when I speak, you know, and they, you know, they get pretty like, <laughs> they don't they don't seem to like me but it's like there's like a bunch of knitted scars you know it's not it's not really i don't really see it as like that intimidating but like when you um i think um what was i gonna say if you i think uh i don't really know that many examples of people who um were uh attacked by destiny who didn't throw shots at him first i mean you can definitely make the point i mean that there are times when he like gets into this weird like one-upmanship and it's like i think for me the doe thing was like pretty fucking inexcusable but like i feel like a lot of people who actually go for um who get this attack from destiny are people who throw shots first right and i don't know i, just, I think like using that as a reason to get rid of someone off the platform is just this really, stupid um, fuck isn't even listening she's just talking to her I don't own know. fucking I think circle of using, like politics with like just being like in a safe space and i think like if you're not really going to be in a space where people are going to attack you because it's not like this is exclusive at twitch right politics since the dawn of time has been about people attacking you and brigading you and sending you mean letters it used to be people sending you mean letters or turning up outside a politician's house it's like if you're not prepared to like take that those kind of attacks then maybe like you're not doing politics or that there's a sphere of politics that you shouldn't be in I guess like my issue with a lot of this is there are so many claims being made against Destiny that has so little evidence behind it. And it's like, there's some serious claims being made when I've like, I've publicly watched people call him a rapist, walk it back a little bit, but then like still make claims that are actually inaccurate to what he'd even claimed before. And look, the stealthing conversation, I've said openly, I don't think he said it in a great way at all, right? The issue is that like, there's so many claims being made against him that are unsubstantiated, these brigading complaints, com uh, claims and everything and it's like we need to be really careful before we make claims about people when we have no evidence for it like i have evidence when i was brigaded when i went and made a comment about destiny brigading maddie i was put on his uh, d panel there were people calling me oh look at this open what do you think slide, brigading blah, blah, blah. is they were that's not brigading they were, they were even saying transphobic comments there was like i that that clip went around in that in that forum for a while um, you know, and that's how, that's how that went. Like it, it, and if you don't believe brigading happens then you just call me a liar, then just do that. Uh, I didn't exactly say brigading never say. happens. I said, I need evidence that destiny has actively coordinated or encouraged or been behind any of these brigades because absolutely they're going to be bad. Close your mouth. You stupid fuck. Un, you don't have un, evidence for anything. I'm unwilling to even see that there are that not community. people. He's the, a leader the issue that is that you are not fully is culpable every, for every, every action. Creator, you have to do your best to control your con your group as much as possible and then apologize when they screw up, which is why when so I went what? on a debate with Chud and I got a ton of misogynistic comments and stuff, I just took it directly to Chud and he just handled it personally. And my understanding is that Destiny does that all the time as well. But that's not actually the case because he continues to create it over and over and over. They're like, you realize that he continues to create it over and over and over. Exactly. It's like pointing the finger at somebody and being like, don't arrest I mean, this person that I don't like. It's like, come on. I mean, this if you're on Twitch and you're debating someone and you're engaging with that person, like the inevitable reality is that some people are going to dislike what you said, right? And I think it's a far cry to say, listen, I engaged with this big figure and a lot of people disagreed with me and came into my chat and made that clear versus, Oh, Destiny actively coordinated this brigade, brigade of someone. He got people together and said, you know, we need to go into this person's chat and harass but, them. These are very different things. This absolutely cuts both ways, though, okay? And the, the way that it cuts both ways is basically, I, I think I spoke to it earlier. It's a content and attention farming tactic to be outrageous, to have somebody onto your stream, to debate them, try to make them look like a fool and then uh, basically end the interaction. And then if people hate you for the way that you engage with that content, 
then you basically uh, you quote tweet the shit out of them or make fun of them for the lulls and the memes. And I'm addicted to this pattern as everybody else is. Josie was talking about like a better Twitch where we have a less toxic environment. I'm as addicted to the blood sports as everybody else. I, I don't think a better Twitch is possible. I just think we're going to get worse iteration or worse iterations of the same pattern. But at the same time, is there not some responsibility for the clout farmers, uh, the clout farmers uh, perspective where maybe it's not fair that they got banned, but also you kind of have to accept it's the same thing with like Vosh with like the pedo comments. It's the same thing with Vosh with the, the, uh, what well, the glass is real and all that kind of stuff. He knew he was making an inflammatory con comment, but he also knew that he was going to get attention off of it. And he's been paying a price ever since. This is the same thing with the stealthing conversation. This is the same thing with having the debate with Hans of Arc here immediately after where he was emotionally compromised. This is the same thing as having the uh, basically knowing that the entire of Twitter sphere, political Twitter sphere, was sensitive about trans sports specifically because of all the banning bills, but saying, hey, listen, I've been doing research. I'm staking out a position and I'm going to go on a 9v1 fucking panel debate against people affirming my position. Now, I think that can be productive. I think that can be awesome. But when you meme too close to the sun, you get fucking torched. This is Icarus all fucking over again. So, you know, it, it cuts both ways. Okay, I'm going to go back to the list. Turk, your time is now. Yeah, so basically, uh, this could probably be my closing too. Uh, you know, Rose, I, I completely feel it. I want to continue to be respectful to the conversation that's going on, but... You got to remember, if you put the shoe on the other foot, there's plenty of other people in other communities that have been dogpiled and have been put on uh, really strict notice in all of these different uh, social media circles. Uh, there's been a long time as a conservative where I've had a target literally on my back. And if I show my face on a panel, I get dogpiled. You, you could probably mention five, you know, top tier, you know, political uh, panel shows. If you're on that panel, you're going to get attacked. So you kind of grow a little bit of a thick skin. You kind of expect some of the attacks that are coming your way. So it's like, you can't just say, Hey, I can't, this is not fair on me because of X, Y, and Z. That's how discourse happens. It happens on people's backs sometimes. And it's unfortunate that, you know, that's how it starts. But if you can't, you know, do the, do the damage you just need to, you know, find alternative ways to discourse. You guys agree that like, Okay, I'm going to throw it now over. Brigading is like a um Next is sprout. Okay, I never care. Unless Brigading is like a deliberate thing that communities do. It's not an it's not like when you get like <clears throat> maybe go back, maybe I did say this. I shouldn't have if I did. But like when I debated Jontron, I think I got more hate after that than anybody I've ever debated in my entire life ever. That was like the most stressful night of my life. Every account I had was being hacked. Every single, like everything on all social media, thousands of Twitter mentions, not even like likes or retweets, just mentions like an hour. Like I, it would be like 7,000 more messages, like 3,000 more messages, right? <clears throat> but I never said like Jontron brigaded me or after I fought with Jontron, he, he, his community brigaded me, they brigaded me. They didn't brigade me. It was all of his fans because I fought with him and obviously they were mad as fuck about what I said to him or about what, how the conversation So they all of a sudden attacked me, which of course I expect, right? I, if you're a JonTron fan, of course you're going to attack me out of the conversation. But I'm not saying you're crying like saying like, oh my God, I got brig he brigaded me. He brigaded me. No, brigading implies a level of coordination and organization. Like that's what brigading means. <clears throat> anybody using any type of slur at somebody for their immutable characteristics i am like Beautiful. you know if somebody's saying it. that about an immutable characteristic about themselves i'm against that type of rhetoric and that type of behavior and and it comes back to twitch again like twitch wants people like me on the platform too turk not just a bunch of cis white guys all the time like, oh like God, that's dude. what it is. And in Twitch, I don't even like that trans people that, you know, who are people of color in particular. There are like so many absolutely deplorably horrible fucking things I could say right now, but I'm not going to say it. <clears throat> they know it's a good business decision for them to have more content creators that are a little bit more diverse instead of them getting bullied off by certain individuals. And look, like 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 you said, he mean too close to the sun. He's been here for 11 years. That he should know better out of it. It's like the most they're saying the most sus things ever for like God, what a fucking loser, dude. But now he doesn't know gone. why he was banned. He'll probably know later. No, I but, but we all know that it's a cumulation of probably of a lot of different things. So so when it comes down to it, 
like <clears throat> Twitch is making a business decision to try to keep people on this platform. Hell, do you think like, look, I'll tell you a per personal thing. I thought about leaving Twitch after- What, after what does this death person death have, like 50 when, fucking when, viewers? When the Brigaders came after me. Like I, I seriously considered it. I was like, Fuck, I don't I even know what this person's this name is. What is it? I'm a professional. I have a day job. I do this for a hobby. This isn't something that I'm doing to try to make money and make this my full time career. It really did seriously cross my mind. I was like, is this really worth it? Is this really worth being on a platform where people are going to come at me like this? I thought about it. I really did. And I almost pulled the plug and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to do discord only. And 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 I decided not to. My community said that they're they're gonna bro. You have eighty me. viewers. I'm glad I stayed. Nobody gives a fuck but about you. Nobody knows who you are. Nobody cares about you. Nobody cared about you when you were running for Congress. Nobody cares about you now on Twitch. What do you mean? Like, wow, Twitch is trying to keep people like me. No, they're not. I don't give a fuck about you. They don't know who the fuck Dozens you are. Nobody knows who the fuck you are. are. No longer a part of this platform because directly his behavior and behavior. The like only thing that people know that about you is that you're just another like trans person online that calls Destiny transphobic. That's like your biggest claim to fame, is you're a part of the anti-Destiny brigade. That's the only reason people know anything about you. <clears throat> because you, along with Maddie, are making false rape accusations and doctoring DMs for my community. Like, imagine having that big of an ego with that small of a footprint. Jesus Christ. Where they're just like, you know what? We want, we want to have more inclusivity on this platform. And if there's one person continually being reported over and over and over again by people saying he's transphobic or saying he's sexist or saying he's a rape apologist or saying he's platforming pedophiles, like all of these things are, are, are a part of the entire collage that makes this platform not great for people who look like me. And, and that's why and that's I'd like to is. go back to what Eurydice said. There needs to be concrete proof and we need Twitch to provide said proof that said, this is what broke the camel's back. It needs to be provided, not just these theories of, oh, well, the blah, 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 blah. It's like, yeah, he's done some bad things. A lot of people have mentioned that in this panel. He's also done a lot of good things. And it's like, we need to know what the actual reason was in order to condemn that I, action. I said that at the beginning. Forward. I said that at the beginning, Turk. I, I do not disagree that Twitch should give a reason why. <laughs> I am not, I'm not I, against no. that. Fuck, I need to stop. And I you know, so, so for stop. me, I need to stop. if Twitch wants to, to make that business decision to get people off to this panel like him, or not panel, but sorry, off this uh, platform uh, like him, then for me, it's a safer space for me now. I'm just going to say Until it. the next Destiny or someone like him comes up and does the exact same thing. It's not going to stop. Sorry to just I know it's not going to stop, but it's like, you know, it's like a streamer gate ready to happen. Do you think we could maybe rising. give a... Uh, Josie, do you think we could... What? Do have an example of like maybe what you think the worst thing Destiny's done and maybe just see what the panel thinks about that. So just... The worst thing? Well, the, I, I named a couple of things, like the thing that he kind of like, oh, it's hard to not what? do the 41%. The what? Go ahead, IRI. What about all, what about the good things he's done? Um, why, why are we all so focused why on don't, the why don't, Nobody why don't ever talks name, about the good we, stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, IRI. Why do we name the good things thing, Hitler did? What's the best thing that Destiny's ever done? Oh, shit. Sure. He lost the Hippie Dippy Championship to CTV. That's the best thing he's done. He created Amen. the yeah. online left sphere in all of mm -hmm. Twitch and created just politics in Twitch and basically by himself, like just a yep. percent. He made he's, this space possible. He's also enabled the careers way. of a lot of trans women. Like, look at Demon Mama. Like, Demon Mama can directly trace her existence on Twitch to Destiny creating the space and Fuck creating you, the platform Tom. for Vosh. Demon Mama and has been therefore for stagnant because of, like, Destiny has continually went after Demon Mama and her Like, doesn't Demon phase. Mama Demon and she's had to deal with the mental health wait, 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 created wait, for Destiny? Wait, wait, wait. That is not true. So, wait, That's wait, I'm gonna... That you hey! Okay. Let's stop one peep, one person. At, so Wait, I, can I get two screenshots of Keffel saying, I took your income, number one, and then the second one is her and Hassan's chat. Can I get those screenshots in chat? Just for a friend, I'm just curious. The list anyway, so it's perfect. And then Josie can respond. Tap. The reason I bring this up is because people act like 
destiny has been this like malignant force that has like pushed trans people away. And that's absolutely not the case. Like the reason why we have trans politics and these discussions happening on Twitch and these political spaces where people like Vosh and Demon Mama and all these other people are in it and engaging with it is because destiny created that platform. And I think it's, you know, it's the perfect proof of how when you have controversial ideas, people rise to challenge them. Right. And so I think that's fantastic. I think you need to have people like you. Oh, the thing in Assange's chat platform, was for, you know, a different discussing person, and never challenging done. ideas. I don't think you're right about things. I don't think you're right about destiny brigading. But like, I think you need to be able to have discussions. And I think it's a terrible shame that destiny was banned for that reason. Taft, do you have an example of like, um, so um, I'm sure I'm sure you'd agree that like, uh, doing good things doesn't like exempt you forever so like what like probably a silly question what would like destiny have to do for you to go like okay this yeah thanks for the help but you're kind of over the hill now i think if we looked at destiny's involvement on the platform and we saw that as destiny like rose and grew in prominence like you had trans creators that were then leaving right and that was a problem like you no longer were able to hold on to these trans creators. I think that would be a really good point in the favor of like, okay, destiny is actually this malignant force that is pushing, you know, trans creators off the platform. Um, but it, but it's the opposite. Like the fir- the longer destiny's been on the platform, like it's gotten more and more progressive. So the effect that destiny's having, like if anything, I think is creating the progressive and the pol- political space. I, I thought of something, Josie. What about the fact that Destiny got hundreds of people to come out to Canvas in Georgia and contributed to us taking the Senate and getting a trans woman um, reviewed and confirmed as Assistant Secretary of Health? I mean, it's not like he's solely responsible. He got a lot of these young kids out there for the first time to knock on doors. I met a lot of these guys. They would have never come out, ever come out. Yeah, I do door knocking. I do door knocking for, I used to do door knocking for a living IRI. Like, like the idea. Wait, link the number of votes she got, please. Link the number of people to go knock on Georgia. That's great. That's great. But he also made a candidate lose. He also made, he also made a Democratic candidate lose as well. He also made a Democratic candidate lose as well because of his, yeah, some mayor. Do you don't think that local politics is important? Oh my God, the oh, performative outrage. You're discounting oh, his operation on. where he invested I, tens of thousands of dollars and weekend after weekend and even pay, I mean, I, he, I, he inspired these you, kids you to come really, out, I, I, That's great, but you know what? Like, and he also lost the campaign, but I'm not gonna go down oh, that road because, because look, I, 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 people go out and knock on doors and do you think that there were millions and millions and millions upon millions of dollars that were flooded in the Georgia for that race? You know, ask, just as well as ask, I do. Ask Afro Sabi what she thinks about Destiny's contribution. She won't tell you he just got some kids to knock on doors. Come on now. That's not fair. Uh, but, 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 but the thing is like, um, I'm trying to get my point. There's like a lot of people in here now. Erodine, um, I got so, you Go, go ahead, Erudite. I'm going to recollect my thoughts. Could I maybe I'm, just I ask the stop. panel who he would have stop. a career if it weren't for Destiny actively I need to stop. boosting and promoting them? Would or You're, wouldn't? Who would or wouldn't? wouldn't? Who who wouldn't have a career without Destiny, basically? Like, I wouldn't be would. where I'm at now. I don't know. I don't know. I wouldn't be where I'm at now, for sure. He's had, he's had an impact. I like to think people like me for me, but you know. This is the person you interviewed for their campaign? I've debated yeah. him before, and I, I think that, that brought a lot of my viewership up but I wouldn't attribute my entire um, channel to Destiny, but I think that him being in debates that I've debated on have majorly contributed to um, the amount of debates I've been able to be on. Sure. Yeah, How if many you're... people do we know of also use his website copy that he just freely gives people that he's fully and... paid for to help boost their, their own platforms as well? Like Demon dozen. Mama? I think Josie, Dylan, I you mentioned think... it before, and you asked him personally to use it as well, which is super great. Um, Demon Mama, I believe there's a couple others as well. The, Gosh, okay. potentially as well. The Gosh. okay, but but here's here's the point. Everybody believes in the bump, the the destiny bump. Okay, but the, but the truth is, a lot of his audience follows him, and they love him, and you know they they like the blood sports and all that kind of stuff. And this this again, this cuts both ways. So debating destiny is good for anyone. And on top of that, I want to personally because I, I think he's watching at this point. 
give him fucking props because he's one of the few larger creators that will debate smaller creators. If you got a fucking problem with him or a problem with his perspective, you send him an email and he says, okay, I'm streaming at this time. Let's fucking run it. And even if you're a shitbag, even if you're not the, you know, the best at public speaking, he'll fucking run it with you. That is a huge public service to the Twitch community because the truth is a lot of other people are very optical with their choices or they're very selfish with the way that they spend their time where they're like hey i'm a fucking 1k or 2k or 3k fucking andy or i'm a fucking you know 20k andy i don't have to talk to your fucking 50 viewer bitch ass and they don't so that's kind of where that uh that boosting i think is huge and a massive public service but you know it the the thing that i just wanted to push back on with your point is i do think the space would have existed without him but i don't think that the uh the amount of people who were able to claw like uh crawl from a small tier to a medium tier would be anywhere near as big if he wasn't willing to do the debates the way that he does so yeah that's a that's an overwhelming positive and and I'm yeah. just gonna say one one thing, IRI, like you know who won Georgia? The black voters that actually went out oh there my and registered God. and organized black voters to go and vote. It was not destiny. And I to try say to say this. that it oh was like destiny God. was like the big linchpin that made sure that Georgia won is garbage because it I was that, that organizing effort that actually got there to make it to make it be where it is. Like you can point I didn't to say anything good near thing. that. But I'm just saying that you are you are that. putting a lot of weight on that. And look, and I see it that a lot, a lot of weight. It deserves a lot of weight. It deserves a lot of weight. And he like so so the fact of the matter is when we're looking at this platform and we're looking at the things that are happening here, with what we are talking about, oh, he he contributed to the space and all that type of stuff. Yeah, and he also knew better than anybody what would get him banned off this platform. And, and he's been pushing that line for a long, long, long time. No and, one knows you know, going to get Imagine, you being, imagine being a creator who doesn't try to push the line in order to get the competitive edge to continue growing their career. I mean, come on. What do you mean? Uh, you think that you have to be an abusive, abrasive asshole to get a, be a good creator on this platform? When your shtick be is a being big abusive, one. yeah. Not abusive, abrasive. Uh, yeah. Like, like, you know like all, like, you know how many huge, you know how many huge streamers that exist outside of Twitch politics? If anything, Twitch politics is a stunter in your ability to grow viewership on this platform. Like, like, yeah, you because you're all fucking boring. This because you're insane. You're fucking losers. Yeah, no weak. shit. You don't grow at all. You don't have anything, anything at all. You have no perspective to offer. You didn't have anything when you were running for Congress. That's why you got like 3,000 fucking votes in your election. You don't have anything to, to offer as a content creator. All you do is you virtue signal the hardest, like, most brainless impulse takes you possibly can. And you want to sit here and cry that there's no growth here? Fuck out of here. Fucking loser. Big streamer that is in Twitch politics is going to be is going to be seen as an asshole by one group or the other. Let's be 100% yeah. honest. Politics is very divisive. And okay, whatever, so side, whatever side you sit on, the other side is going to see you as an asshole who doesn't know shit. So, I mean, yes. I, 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 don't, I don't know where you're going here when you're Ultimately, saying he was an this asshole is a as a Twitch politics debater. Yes, we all are. We all are assholes because we all have opinions that other people disagree with. They're going to be like, that person's an asshole. I guarantee in Dylan's chat, there's 25 million people calling me an asshole right now. Which I guarantee it. Uh, yeah, Hold on, to be clear, in case people, I don't think that we solo won Georgia. Okay, like I'm not gonna sit here and claim that because that would be outrageous. Okay, but between my canvassing for Georgia and Omaha, I spent like a hundred thousand dollars of my own money. Okay, and I spent like how many fucking weekends did I fly out to Omaha, Georgia? It must have been like fourteen weekends, right? Because I think it was maybe not maybe it's like 10 weekends because i flew out four or five weekends for georgia and then i flew out like four or five weekends for omaha like it's a lot of time i flew out for there's at least a hundred thousand of my own cash and we had the single largest canvassing operation in the state of georgia on two of the weekends we were there the largest one so like like did we make the whole election no of course not right if we wouldn't have been there at all would they have still won most likely i'm pretty sure they did they had decent enough margins but like to just say that like oh it was nothing or who cares like fuck you dude fucking like like i had more canvassers in one weekend than you've ever had canvassing for all of your political campaigns combined for your entire short-lived fucking life like get the fuck out of here with like oh wow they didn't do anything it gets fucking clipped out of context and fucking thrown onto lsf and other platforms then you are going to have slower growth and you're not going to rock it the way that everybody else does uh, again like I, i'm just going to repeat this one more time Vosh literally cut his teeth 
on basically a pedo analogy and glassing Israel. That's that's the the glassing Israel guy, and then using that notoriety allowed him to rocket up the platform along with his rhetoric skills. Destiny, I, I hate to remind everybody, he was the fucking incest is ethical guy for a long time. For, so so basically, he took an indefensible position, and uh, it became a huge meme in the community. And people were like, "Oh, those weird fucks over there." But he also trashed a bunch of people in debates. So on one hand, we can say, oh, you need to calm down, calm your tits, don't be so edgy. Uh, you know, don't don't post the N-word to, Dest uh, to Twitter, Destiny, jeez. Uh, but at the same time, part of his edginess is also what attracted all of us to his platform in the first place, is we knew that even if it was a boring conversation, if one or two memes came out of it, people were going to watch it. And so I, I think it's easier to coach uh, or teach than it is to be the thing. I, I tell you what, going forward with this Ukraine and Russia stuff, I'm scared to live in a world where it's just people like Hassan saying that Russia's justified to take Crimea. You know what I mean? Jesus. There's nobody to push back on voices like that. So I, I think I people will, will rue the guy. day. People will rue the day that he that a voice like his is gone. Because who's going to stand up and say, "Nah, dude." My my issue with all of this narrative that that is frustrating is like I I actually am really really sympathetic to like the trans community in general like I I care quite a bit about the community and the suffering particularly from a mental health standpoint right the issue is that everything that he's done wrong that you've like pointed to Josie I feel like you've been really really not characterizing you've been characterizing it in probably the worst possible light but I'd say some of them are bad yeah but when we look at the good things like he's done like iri brought up it was incredibly dismissive right he actually boosted you as well he gave you a free interview he helped you when you True. were doing like political stuff and i'm not Fuck saying you. like now that i don't hear me i'm not saying well you should just be grateful i'm not oh, saying she got that. mad at you that one didn't she? Yep. and then later decide that you fucking hate them that's fair enough but the issue is that the characterization and the narrative you're using the one example i said can you give me an example of regretting and the example you said is i went into a chat said some things i imagine that you pissed people off i'm guessing right and then a bunch of people For jumped what? into your chat and talk to you. Do you have any evidence of Destiny saying, go, go, guys, get into a chat, go and brigade her, right? Do you have any evidence of Destiny coordinating this? Or do you but just have it where you instigated a bunch of people gonna, in this chat, uh, and then they jumped into yours, and did you bring those transphobic thing. people to him so that he could ban okay, them? Because he's okay, very so what clear about, what about that. What about the two dozen people that I've had the ban in my chat? Oh my Probably god, the two dozen? Debate. What about them? Two, what about two, those two they have dozen? They say I have anything? 10k fucking that's viewers! What, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Like, like you, you, wait, you're just wait, like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna dismiss I'm just gonna dismiss like all of these things and all these claims. And the second I say, hey, I, I, my, my, my community's already had to ban two dozen people here in this chat with somebody literally saying, welcome from the DDG community. And then it's immediately going at me. It's a true, like, you think that's actually somebody from my community? That's probably a fucking griper listening that's trolling that. no, you. No, but I'm saying his name negatively and now I'm getting brigaded for it. Like, like it's very that's not common. A brigade, though. To that's not a brigade though. That's not a brigade. Oh, this is people disagreeing God. with you. Wait, it's wait. not. One, one at a time. Josie, Josie, right. you know how many people I have given my chat when I go on Hippy Dippy and then disagree with me and they came from another viewer's chat yep. and I've had to ban them or they just leave because I'm not addressing their comments? I feel like that's just a part of debate yep. to where it's when you're in a debate, people from other communities' chats are going to pop in yours to tell you exactly what they're thinking because they think you're, they think they're important and they think you're going to care when they type in your chat telling you how shit you are and how much shit your opinion is. And th it just doesn't happen. There's, no, there's a guy, Wyatt, I don't know who the fuck he came from, but he came into my chat telling me how shit my opinion was. I said, hey, I'll talk to you after, I'll talk to you on Discord after. How many times have you been like, hate-rated? Nah, leave. How many times, have, how many been times have you been hate-rated on this platform? Oh my uh, God, I've dude. They're all victims. She's such a fucking victim. She's such a victim. How many times have I been hate rated? No, yeah, Jesus. I'm just saying that being a trans woman on this platform, you get hate rated quite often. You don't, dude, I'm sorry. This person doesn't know what the fuck hate is. Holy shit. I'm not saying anything about destiny. I said hate rated, period. So don't even go there and act all freaking shocked about it. What do you think this conversation's about? It's I don't not just know, about maybe random... the fact that that I'm getting hate rated right now. The oh fact that God. I am now my moderators are now sitting there doing more because I sit there and I talked about being hate rated. Like, do you understand that it's Listen, literally happening in my community? Go I've in my said chat. Some real go fucking in my dumb chat right now. And, okay, Cry, can yeah. I be yeah. clear? What a weak fucking loser, like, Anyone dude. in my chat goes to yours and does things like that, please screenshot their name so I can ban them immediately. Yes, yeah, I genuinely want you to do so that. So just, just just screenshot all of the people that I. Just 
just banned it and send it to you? Yeah. Why not? Oh no! Like, moderating my like chat is too really hard. Reasonable thing for. I'm yeah, supposed to moderate my whole really fucking community and she can't send a few screenshots about banned chatters? Things like this. And this is the issue is Destiny has done actively this. I would say Destiny has gone above and beyond for tone policing and controlling his community as much as possible. There's, but there are limits to it. And a lot of the limits that we have is that we have to be reactive in how we tone police. We don't have a ton of opportunity for proactive other than the things that we talk about and promote within our actual content. I'm just wondering, I'm I can't think of it. Destiny helps. Is there like any big creator you could like take shots at and not get a few of them in your replies hmm. or your mentions or your comments or anything like that? Like, is that Anybody? possible? A single one? Got, like a few thousand viewers? Like, I don't think so. I think I make fun of Hassan thousand, all the time. I think with someone has a few thousand viewers, if you mention them and tag them to where, the, where their viewers are going to see them, or if we're a debate like this, we're probably Destiny's watching right now. Yeah. I would probably assume he's probably on YouTube watching this debate right now, talking us, talk, watching us talk about him. But if they're watching us talk about him, and they're like, hey, I want to talk to this person because they're disagreeing with the person that I watch stream all the time and I believe in what he's saying. Yes, like I think that would happen. Um, I think that if you're going to talk bad about somebody, then someone from their chat is going to go into your chat and try and defend them. That's just kind of the play of the game. I've been, I've every time I've been on Nippy Dippy, I've had people from other communities come over to my chat and tell me how shit my opinion is. Um, I've seen Dylan's chat. D Dylan's chat absolutely hates me. I find it hilarious. But I make, I mean, honestly, I make jokes about it. I tell my haters to subscribe because it keeps me around longer for them to hate me longer. They've got more, they have more of a hobby hating me if they subscribe because it keeps me around. So, I mean, I don't know. It just depends on how you look at it. And I feel like you're taking the most, like, anti way to look at everything right now. And I feel like it's just because of destiny. I feel like this it's just because destiny's name is there that, yep. you, that you're taking the most anti view possible and then trying to publish that. This has been something that my community has been dealing, been dealing with, with since for years been on the platform. Oh my god. Okay, like do you Everybody, realize that I shouldn't have to give you evidence. I, in my I'm better than have that. Dealt with. I'm a this woman. I don't need evidence for my claims. Talked about I can just say whatever the fuck I want. Ago. And you should believe in me because I say the most bitchy fucking tone and possible. All the and if I act indignant enough, you would every single thing I say should be believed 100% without any evidence whatsoever. I have my community that sees it all the time and it adds to their mental health issues. And I, you know, I then log the fuck this. off. Trigger what, warning what the fuck for is self-harm. Trigger warning. I had oh, no. a community member take their own life about last year when they were in their middle of their transition because their family rejected them. Okay? I have no idea oh, nice. if it was because of something that happened on my platform. I'm killing trans people. I know that that I'm actually, actually happened. That's true. And that's it. it has been one of the most I did it. difficult things that I've had I'm to deal with. I'm killing trans people. So when I yes. talk about these issues, that's what's happening right now. real because I deal with this all the time. <laughs> Like it's 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 my life. Like I do research on this shit. Like I do research on the fact that people are more susceptible to ideation because of the fact that the society that what they live in don't loser. respect them. Oh, I, when people, um, when people weaponize people's suicides, I don't think they ever cared about those people. When people take a person's suicide and then they try to use it to win another debate, like in this type of manner, I don't think you can never reference a friend's suicide. But when you are trying to like leverage that, whoever killed themselves, Josie doesn't give a fuck about that person at all. She probably didn't even fucking know this person. It was probably a random modder viewer and she's like, oh, oh, they killed themselves, oh wow. And then they did a big cry stream for like two hours, maybe got some donuts and then moved on. No fucking shot did you give a fuck about this person. Because if you did, if you truly did care about that person and they're showing signs of this or whatever, then you just have them step back like what, what were the messages like 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 how, like to even bring this out and imply that i'm literally making trans people kill themselves because of hate raids that i'm not even coordinating like actually fuck you like to hell to the deepest circle of hell what a fucking loser dude i mean the, the answer is yes or no have you trashed destiny for approximately about two hours i've t i've been the behavior yeah okay so with that being said destiny has thousands of viewers probably right now i have no idea i can go to his youtube and probably check he's probably like wait are there right only four them. bands right now but are there only four bands rt band or whole chat tonight of viewers now i don't know you said you you said you've banned dozens 
that's less than one percent of the people that are watching him right now and on on top of I that i have to stop dude this is not i don't healthy. know how he's supposed to control i'm actually viewers. getting triggered I can't like i'm not memeing i'm one actually of my triggered as fuck right one now the people that came over there unless you tell me the people that you've banned and i look through the people that were watching my stream and i say oh shit that was one of my viewers okay wait well, rtba are you 100 percent sure that she's only banned four people tonight is this 100 percent or is there a chance you're going to be wrong and somebody's going to say this and you're going to look and i'm they're going to look really dumb because that's not something I accept in my community. I've told my community that I don't accept that, and I will ban them if one of my community members came over there and just started trashing you. But you've talked trash about Destiny. I wouldn't I, not I expect try to talk Destiny. trash about his actions, which is Destiny. Okay, so yeah, it's, yeah, sorry, 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 I, I, I wouldn't expect less. I wouldn't expect less than one. I mean, I would expect less than one percent to come over to your viewers, to come over to your Twitch, since you've made it publicly known that you're trashing Destiny, and try and fight back against that. That's she's not timing people out. If she's timing people out for hate rating, then she's a fucking idiot. If somebody's hate rating, why wouldn't you just ban Destiny, them? That Destiny's viewers are going to sit here and try and come back against me just because I'm. Did I start the conversation that way? I literally said that I know that I'm coming in. On and gonna be a matter of time before people come in here and start talking shit and it actually is happening currently egg stop it i know you're watching like you've Fucking had to stop. ban like how many people have you had to ban specifically to uh, i don't know yet i haven't context. counted i don't have I, my modern <laughs> I, i'm not i'm not asking as a gotcha just to make it clear i'm actually just trying to get context i, I don't know i guess i can about. ask maybe my moderator yeah what's the damage what the count tonight? is yeah yeah, sorry. Uh, they I, don't uh, ever have numbers like, for I'm anything. Switch sides again, fuck it. Like, um, so yeah, like, okay, for the for the DGG guys, ten thousand viewing right now. Yeah, Josie's currently in a fucking one v eight. Um, not a good. Fuck her. If it was me in a one v eight over against um, trans people, everybody would be cheering about, it on. Um, DGG, not you. Guys. Talking shit about my kids. But, um, and my wife is a fucking so again, Nazi. With, like, uh, counterpoints. You made a point earlier about edginess. Okay, so sure. Calling like, my other um, wife Lauren a Nazi. I don't have a problem with edginess. Okay, like I guess I even made a comment. I hate my fucking wife, dude. Thirty years old, you know. But yeah. Um, I think the edginess isn't really the problem. I think not so Ari that made a point earlier about like being like empathetic about like the uh, specific vulnerabilities of like uh, trans creators. I think that's maybe a point where you could say that there's a line between being edgy and something like um, like the kind of like I mentioned earlier, the one-upmanship that Destiny sometimes engages with. Like for example, like using someone's like suicide attempt in an argument. I think we can agree that Doe like, is one of the worst types of people on the like, platform. I'll do it a million times. I don't Fuck think you. It's good for him you fucking it makes him look like a dickhead. So, and when, to ever when you do a suicide attempt, which is eating eight Benadryl, that was her suicide attempt, by the way. Okay, when you do that and you immediately go to Twitter and then you write love letters to people and tweet it for everybody to watch, all you're doing is validating the. Content concept of the attention that you can get by attempting suicide. That's all you're doing. Why the fuck would anybody think that's a responsible way to talk about public health, to talk about suicide attempts, to deal with a mentally ill or suicidal person? It's like one of the most cancerous, damaging, fucking disgusting things you can ever fucking do. Yeah, I'm going to make fun of her for that. That's fucking ridiculous. Okay? Somebody eats eight Benadryl, say they attempted to kill themselves, and then they come online and they put their ex on blast in some shitty fucking fourth grade uh, fucking Tumblr poem or whatever on their Twitter, and they get a bunch of love on it? Yeah, you better believe I'm going to make fun of that motherfucker. Unbelievable, of course. Just, Phobia. where do we go? And in a sense, I feel like it's a disservice to like the actual transphobia that people do experience. To just points. call it all transphobia. Thank you. Sprout saw me confused. I was trying to figure out which one uh, left. Of course, it was counterpoints. Okay. Is there anybody else who want to say anything else before we wrapped up? Wonderful. Then we're going to do closing statements. Try oh, to do them. Yeah, closing statements. Super short. So we're going to start with IRI. Okay, like look. The last. Okay. I know Josie's been uh, beat up on tonight. I want to say that streaming for me is easy compared to Josie. I, I admit that the trans people on this platform have a rough time. It's not easy. It's like streaming on expert mode with one hand tied behind your back. And so How? I feel for you, Josie. I wish I was. Dude, the difference between a trans person and a cis person is every single person that makes fun of you when you're a trans person gets fucking permabanned. It's the strongest fucking armor in the world. This sounds base as fuck. You're telling me that I can go onto Twitter and I can call somebody's wife a Nazi and when they make fun of me, I can get them banned for it? That sounds like the best fucking ability ever. This is some fucking alternate world, fucking Marvel superhero shit the superhero that gets to go and do whatever the fuck they want to somebody else and then when anybody retaliates the actual like forces of earth come and fucking 
crush this person. This sounds like the most base fucking streaming ever. Every insult against me is transphobic. I can say whatever I want, and anybody that argues against me gets fucking banned. Meanwhile, people are making fake rape threats about me, insulting my family, my height, ever calling me a gusano, racial slurs, like whatever the fuck. Get the fuck out of here, dude. It's some random DMs. I get some random hate, but it's what- Also, being able to fly would be cool. But I think the net good of Destiny far outweighs the negative. And that, that I, I can't convince you of that. All I can do is share that. But I think getting a bunch of young people to drive halfway across the country and dedicate weekends of their lives and money and time to knock on doors in Georgia and help. I'm not saying that he got Raphael Warnock and John Ossoff the victory, but to help to arrange the largest canvassing operation in on certain weekends there. I think that's huge. Some of these kids will stay involved in politics for the rest of their lives because of what Destiny did and what he continues to do. So I'm sorry, but I just see Destiny as such a net positive uh, that, that I, I'm blown away that people are so angry at him because of some extra moderation they have to do for their channel. I'm sorry, but um, I think we all lose now that Destiny's gone. I think the whole space is going to hurt and people don't even know it. They're, they, they're, they'll see, I guess, in, you know, let's see where we're at in a year. Okay, next we're gonna throw it to Loner. Um, oh yeah, fuck what was I saying? Um, yeah, Taft, I, I think you were mentioning me. Were you, I think you were referring to my comment when you mentioned the transphobia thing. It's not just about transphobia, okay? Like it's just it's like about things like mental health and all that. Like so, like say Destiny will like acknowledge that some smaller person who he thinks is suffering from like mental health issues, and he also he'll he'll do the thing where he says this person's mental health is not being helped by their engagement on this platform, and then he will go public and talk to his like much bigger audience about like specifically about their mental health. So like, I feel like no one's really engaged with that question. I was just like, yeah, here's the engagement. The net, good Talk shit, okay, agree, get hit. That's the way I, of the I world. I don't know why it's kind of difficult for people to like acknowledge there are like lots of places where a bit of like restraint would have been not only like better, but also just like very easy. I wish these, I want to see these people show the restraint. Better. I want to see it. I really wish they could. You, nobody can respond. Just a day on my Twitter account. Oh. <laughs> when you have people okay. saying the most fucked up insane shit oh. about you. Now I'm going to throw it over to not so And arrogant. you're supposed to treat them like you're the fucking pope? Get me the fuck out of yeah, here. Yeah, I uh I would echo a bit like of what retarded I said. children. Again, That's how you're supposed to, steal to deal like with opening all of them. and closing from you now at this point, but um I think it is beyond clear to me um based on what I've been seeing with the don't say gay bill and just a lot of reactionary policy that we're seeing in America that absolutely um there is a lot of work to be done when it comes to trans you gotta advocacy. Got to light the shrines. Yeah, and I'm actually trying, okay. making space and just like basic human rights for trans people. I think that is unquestionable to me. The problem is that when we um, cannibalize our own, um, we actually lose some of the best people who are doing good work for it. Now, no, no advocate is perfect. I think even if we looked at any of our own personal histories, there's probably shit that you can come up. The issue for Destiny is he's an edgelord and has been doing it for 13 years, so you're going to find a lot more of it. Um, this doesn't excuse all of the behaviors, but fundamentally what we need to do is figure out what our priorities are, what are the most important things to advocate for, and work really hard to make those spaces. I'm really disappointed with how the trans community, how do you feel about the boycotting? trans community at large, um, who, like, no one cares. community and whatnot, do have been characterizing destiny. I think that there's a lot of um, uh, bad faith. I wouldn't say bad faith, just like not super charitable interpretations, um, probably the worst possible interpretations of certain things and dismissive of, of good, which makes me sad um, because I think that we should do our best to hold the same ruler to every type of community content creator. And I don't often see certain uh, content creators getting the same ruler held to them that we're willing to hold to somebody like Destiny. And um, yeah, I would just like to see that more. Uh, Connor's oh. back. Is he back? Yeah, he's in the waiting room. Yeah, we'll make him wait. Waiting room. I put over to Taft. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I got excited. I got heated in this discussion. It's because for me, it's really important that we're able to have controversial discussions publicly. We don't know why Destiny got banned, but we do know that Destiny was not popular among like Twitch moderation. And it's because Destiny was continually willing to challenge progressive narratives on Kyle Rittenhouse or trans sports or whatever the narrative of the day was, if he felt like it wasn't true. And I think having someone willing to do on that- Prime Kai. Is really valuable. Uh, that Destiny, one? <laughs> he's an asshole a lot of times. And I think everyone should be able to acknowledge that. Um, 
he's a hard person to engage with sometimes. Sometimes he DMs people Game of Thrones spoilers because he's angry about something. I never DM them. That the was someone else. Day, I only posted I them publicly. Really okay. To have in the Twitch community. And I think it's undeniable. That was some fake that he's news. He's done a lot of good. However, whoever did make that bot to DM Game of Thrones spoilers was really based, so. We have left you. You want to give me credit for it, I'll take people who disagree vehemently with Destiny. And I think the proof is in the pudding, right? When Destiny is on the platform, he encourages people to come up and challenge him. And that challenging of ideas is what I think is necessary for a healthy, functioning society. So that's all. Okay, I'm gonna throw it over now to Sprout. God, I hope Josie gets the last statement about how much I of a think, horrible fucking I'm, person I'm I am. I'm sticking to what I originally said. I think that everyone has a, I think everyone should have a place on Twitch. I think this has become the new uh, town square. The internet has become the new town square um, in which people get to share their opinions. And I think it is she more asked for the last word? to actually Good. take Thank down God. bad opinions. I hope she brings up more are, unsubstantiated accusations too. Space, when you actually be able to uh, replay their VODs or when you're actually able to talk to them uh, face to face or camera to camera, it's more effective to actually take down the positions that way than it is to let them go to um some other website and people get radicalized by just staying in that website and following that creator dude the no speed on that arrow is insane um say hey this is wrong um i think that the best way forward is for twitch to uh stop banning people and i think the best way forward is for twitch to uh say hey everybody's welcome everybody's welcome to share their own ideas these aren't the I these aren't the ideas that twitch um these aren't the ideas that okay. twitch supports Got but it. we do believe in free speech here and we do believe that everyone is able to share their ideas and let their ideas be known to the public so with that being what it is i think that uh twitch should relax on the bands and let free speech take its course okay i'm gonna throw it now over to turk yeah i kind of echo what sprout said because you know if we're gonna have these conversations we have to be able to do so in a manner that we don't have to constantly walk on eggshells as we're going into these next conversations uh, there's going to be a lot of eggshell walking because it's a very sensitive topic. It's a very TOS heavy sensitive topic. And the fact that we have to do that is not a good thing. We should be able to converse with people on both sides of opinions and be able to come to uh, agreement conclusion on these topics. And that's just a really sad state of affairs. And just because I don't support that destiny was banned, does not mean I agree with the man. The dude is not, uh, you know, conservative. He has some really bad takes that I do not agree with, but I still want to hear his opinions. I still want to engage with people like that because if we can't have the conversations, we're not going to be able to change or come to a better conclusion. Bro, this arrow shit is bullshit. I've been on Hippie several times. Are you serious? I've changed several of my stances to be less conservative and more, you know, moderate to progressive. And that's why we need to have people on platforms, regardless of some of the bad things that they've said that is potentially TOS. You know, I we need to have these conversations. And if, if Twitch is not gonna allow that, I really hope other platforms are available to allow that. Okay, now I'm going to throw it over to Josie. Did Connor get to say his words? Um, oh, Connor, yeah, you you, uh, you left, didn't you, Connor? All right, cool. So <clears throat> my position is that we're all attracted to blood sports. I think that the power vacuum left by the DGT community on Twitch will be filled, and it's not necessarily going to be better with him gone. Uh, whether it's Destiny or somebody else, that power vacuum will be filled. Um, I, I am and was thankful that Destiny was willing to share his platform with smaller creators through debate and engagement. I think that's one of the positives that he did in order to give smaller creators a moderate boost to their metrics. Uh, but I will concede that he's done a lot of toxic shit that uh, basically has made a lot of people feel shitty. I don't agree with his same moral philosophy. I wish that he would take uh, kind of more of a Christian perspective of turning the other cheek, but I also understand that that's not always possible. And uh, I do agree with IRI okay, I like, that it's a little bit I like Connor, up not to shut on him, that, uh, but didn't he defend Destiny cops beating the shit out of people? For talking to Nick Fuentes for four minutes, for maybe <laughs> Saying that sometimes uh, they just need a it. <laughs> sarcastic uh, N-word tweet and uh, engaging with uh, trans discourse irresponsibly. But then we have like fucking Hassan Piker over here basically doing Russian apologia. Like, like what is fucked up? And like, like, OK, so is something that's fucked up and evil but palatable better than, you know, fucking something that's abrasive and aggressive but not as nefarious? 
Uh, it, it's a weird fucking standard to have, and I don't like it. And until I get banned, uh, I'll try to fill the slot of calling out bad dog shit ideas. But that doesn't mean that bad dog shit ideas aren't going to exist without somebody calling them out aggressively. So uh, the final thing, though, is uh, DGG DDoSed me. Uh, you know, they attacked my modem. That's why I went down. So I side with sure. Josie and, uh, you know, fuck DGG. They can they can eat my whole butthole. So, yep. Okay. Uh, Josie, your Andy statement. Okay. Um, so I know it got heated. Um, I appreciate um, the conversation and to allow me to say my piece. Um, I am not the only person on this platform that has um, grievances with DDG. I just want to make that clear. I am one of many. Um, I just had the honor to be able to speak for the honor with that community. Name um, names, the best loser. I could, and I know that I wasn't perfect. I know that I didn't have all of the arguments lined up because it was only me and I tried my best. So I just want everybody to know that this is not a accurate reflection of um, what the internet of Twitch um, looks like or the, the statement of Twitch. There's a lot of people who do not like um, the actions that Destiny has done. Um, I do want to address a few other little pieces, um, which is IRI, I just want to just push back on one thing you specifically said, is that wow, extra moderation, closing. big deal. Well, when you're a small content she's creator, banned four, and you only have like 10 she's viewers, banned you four people, the four people, to have several moderators, four like people, I do, where four I have like people, three or four, four moderators pe going, four people, doing their thing four right now, people, then four it's nearly people, impossible to four people, overcome hate four people, people, I've seen people four shut people, down their streams four because people, they just could not four people, take four people, and stop what was four happening. People. In fact, Twitch has even put a massive sorry um, stance I was just on speaking on it into the air. My bad. Particularly for that reason, because it doesn't affect streamers like myself as much. And, you know, I'm a relatively small streamer. I'm not huge. An insanely um, small when streamer. I get a stream, An absolute like, I WH Omega lore and always will but be. A lot of small streamers don't get that opportunity. You'll so, be known so as person 842 that tried to make a career off of shitting on a Destiny. Big deal is just woefully uh, misguided. Um, now, I want to I wanna say that there was a lot of comments talking about this being a discussion of like, oh, this is freedom of speech. This is the conversation that we are trying to have. And this type of thing is, it's like, we are talking about things that were directly targeted toward individuals Mr. That, were, that are directly harmed with their own platforms, being deplatformed, having Twitch accounts go private, having Twitch accounts be banned. This is something that is more than just the shitty take. There is there is a lot of things and there's a lot a of lot. evidence to a show a lot this. of evidence. A lot of that I just don't have gets any destroyed because people delete their accounts and just get off the internet and try to stay <laughs> away from it altogether. And 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 to have, I just have to say, wow, I, nice I'm not closing to make statement. A personal attack here, but out of all the things that Destiny has done, you picked out a Game of Thrones spoiler, like like there is so many things that name Destiny's name some then. everybody on this panel has even said destiny's done some pretty fucked up shit but you choose a game of thrones uh spoiler as he oh he DMing gets angry uh, uh, but 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 the thing is like it just shows the level fucking loser of, dude of, oh my um, god ability to to be able to see this from the point of view Holy, because a lot of these people on this panel did raise their hand when they say, oh, I'm directly affected by this, by destiny in a positive way. Therefore, it's like the idea, and I'm just going to say it, there was a lot of simping on this panel <laughs> where it's like, oh, but it's destiny, though. He made my career great, though, instead of actually engaging the conversations of the fact of real material harm of people on this platform, including the people that have, particularly the people who are been deplatformed because they can't take any more of the rage that comes their way continuously. So wow. this will be the final thing I say. Oh, on one more topic. thing. Get it out there. Say me I'm a rapist. Just do it. I am. I know I'm out. I've raped hundreds of people. Just say it. But Twitch gets the final word. Twitch banned Destiny indefinitely. So where the real W is, was with me. And at the end of the day, 
Everybody can cry and get upset and mad about Destiny being banned, but the ultimate result is that he is no longer on this panel, and I have Twitch to support me on that and all the other community uh, that has been affected by his actions. So the big W goes to me and our community because the Twitch said, Destiny, you're no longer a part of this platform. So I see a lot of people taking a lot of L's because of the fact is Twitch got the final word and he's gone and we'll find out why. No, you won't. Why do you think you will? Okay. Twitch will never release that the reason. That is the end of the first topic of tonight. Um, we're now going to God, go to the next oh topic. This God. is also uh, the time where Destiny can stop watching because we're going to get into real politics now. Um, and the next topic is, should Supreme Court nominee uh, KBJ be appointed to the Supreme Court uh, after... Um, what is to what a soy topic? Wait, what is... Of their the, nomination, it's who is opposed to the black nominee. What, who, what kind of disagreement are you going to get on this topic? This person should be appointed to the Supreme Court. Um, I, also, the last time you can address anything said in the last topic is during the intro of this topic, and then you can't ever mention it again going forward. Just throwing that out there. Josie's going to get last word on intros, points. though, again, isn't she? <laughs> Yeah, sure. So I, I think the primary cont contention from a conservative perspective or whatever was that, you know, Biden came out and said, oh, well, we're going to look for a woman of color to get to the Supreme Court. Huh? And that was like the, the big pitch point. I have no doubts that this woman is probably talented. I have no doubts that there are probably women of color who are talented to sit on the bench. The question is whether or not we want to racialize things going. I don't forward. know if it's a hot take and or not. Biden shouldn't have said it. I don't necessarily think there's a problem with that, but he shouldn't have said that. It was just a stupid thing for him to say. I want to have exact representation in media and politics. And if we don't have an exact demographic breakdown along race and gender, if there are not 33% straight men in media and politics, then I will fucking riot. Bro. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. These arrows are AIDS. I right. Well, I, I think that uh, Katanji Brown actually, Jackson is. I'm going to make a strategic choice. Sprout, you go first. You go next, actually. Okay. All right. So, uh, Josie, don't worry. This won't be a 7v1 against you. This will be a 7v1 against me. Um, and fortunately, I prepared for it. Um, I personally think this, uh, this judge should not be appointed to the Supreme Court. I think she's practically willing to uh, she's practically willing to um, uh, normalize uh, a pedophilia. pedophilia. Um, and you can see this clearly through her deciding voted uh, her deciding um, her her sentencing of uh, certain decided cases by a jury or by plea. Um, and we'll go over this all later. I'm sure we will. People are going to be asking questions about it. Um, Okay, this is a, I, sorry, my, I just had a brain blast in this area. I understand what this whole area is. Also, I think I'm done listening to this. Uh, we'll turn it back in for the trans athlete thing. This is a pony area where you just ride the fuck through and ignore every fucking mob. Because those arrows are stupid as fuck. Holy shit. Oh wait, is that another thing to light? <clears throat> I need to figure out, like, who I hate the most on Twitch, and I just need to have a panel at the same time and cuck them. I could do it to Dylan, just to be spiteful. I don't even know why. Oh, because I hate the people that he brings on these panels sometimes. I shouldn't even say that, really, it's just that Josie motherfucker, but he is friends with her. <laughs> and just have an overlapping panel, <laughs> and then and then snipe all of his guests. <laughs> I shouldn't do that. That's kind of spite-based. Or maybe spite-pilled. Maybe you can be based and spite-pilled. Oh, cool. Oh, oh, cool. Uh-oh, wait, hold on. Oh. Oh, hold on. Oh. Hold on, we're really testing our fucking boomer reaction time here, okay. Do you get iframes when you are dashing on the horse or no? Do not use your keys here. Wait, why not? 
I have so many of them, does it matter? It's a waste. You will feel so much regret. Just use them. Just do it. He's trolling you no meme. You get 20 extra keys in the game. It's a lift you'll never use. Okay, sounds based. It's just an elevator that leads back to the top. Okay, well, I did it. Goodbye. Wait, there's a cool item up there? Wait, is there? I haven't even lit- Wait, how long does this fucking lift take? I need to go gym tonight and it's already 10.30, fuck me. Did you get the grace near you? Um, near here? No, I don't believe I did. Oh shit. Wait, why did I jump off? Uh, it's okay. Did you get the Elden Ring near you? Good. Nice. Go for 225 deadlift. Today is supposed to be 220, Hillshire. I can't just jump 10 pounds, okay? That would be undisciplined. Do you take any pre-workout? Yeah, I come 20 times in your mom. There's five to 10 seconds between messages to people in Josie's chat or calling it a hate raid. Yeah, I'm gonna go by something that I said before in life. Um, and even if I don't publicly say this, I'm privately judging people all the time because that's the kind of person I am. I think it's very obvious to look at some people that have just never dealt with much in their life before. That have like never had that much um, pushback. I've never had that much like difficulty. And that is a person that definitely is one of those people. You can just tell by the way that they react and respond to things. They're like, this person's just never had much. If they really are that traumatized by four people in chat over the course of two hours, they probably have, like, that's the type of person, I haven't looked, and I, I could be wrong, but it wouldn't surprise me if they had like more mods than viewers. Like, if you were to go in that chat and open the chat room, I bet they have like fucking 10 mods. It's just the kind of person they're like, and they're crying about, and they have, fuck that shit. Wait, is there a boss over here real quick? I don't have time to stay here too long. Would you debate Josie if she offered? Yeah, but it would be boring. They, that person will never talk to me. Jesus Christ. Oh, is he a boss? Oh God, is this gonna be like a... Okay. <sighs> Any comments on Anna's messages? No, I don't care. How are the squat shoes working for you? Um, they feel really good, but um, I don't know. And I'll say right now, anybody that is the defending the actions, and I'll say it because you know what? I don't care. Anybody who's defending the actions of Destiny and what he said, and then having the fallout after this with what he did to Maddie. You're no better than people who support Donald Trump after he started the insurrectionist riots. Just as a heads up, what she's talking about is, I don't even think I, there might be a separate post about it. Maddie faked screenshots of DGGers harassing her. And Twitter and she posted on Twitter and said that she was getting harassed and the screenshots were photoshopped 
poorly. And when people called her out on it, she tried to make an excuse of like, oh, I think that my tablet accidentally added that dot there. This is what she's getting mad that people are attacking Maddie over. Because on the, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, you're just following your leader. I have no respect for you. None. And neither do the women on this platform. And I'll say right now. <sighs> Maddie Cakes is most likely editing DMs, a very shit analysis. Oh yeah, we can set up for the original tweet posted at 12, 10 a.m. The proof, the first evidence of these tweets, Maddie provides these two DMs that are timestamped to the tweet. This prompted a lot back to Maddie, for Maddie to provide evidence of DMs that were seen before her original tweet. This book back is unseen by Disney's friends, and then tweets this, blah, blah, blah. However, in the screenshot, the time zone is off by one hour, making it seem as if Maddie Cakes' original tweet was at 1, 10 a.m. Maddie sees a tweet and presumably tries to find the first death threat. She then posts this DM claiming it's the first one she's received. That tweet seems to be photoshopped as there's a dot next to the timestamp. So this dot right here doesn't appear on new DMs, but she fucked up and she didn't delete this dot when she photoshopped this um, fake tweet. Imagine how dumb you have to be too. Guys, if you want to fake evidence, just learn how to edit the, um, the CSS or whatever. What is the, isn't it like F? There's it. You can just like change shit over here and like change the fucking, you can just change it shit over here. You don't have to Photoshop anything. Yeah, the ins inspect element. This dot is most likely one that was accidentally added when she tried to crop a tweet timestamp as the dot is used to separate the time from the date. For example, this is an example of how she fucked up. Cause she tried to edit out the, I think she tried to change the timestamp or something to get rid of the date and there's the dots between it. There's also the account that didn't exist. Oh, that was another thing as well. When people saw the account names that were tweeting at her, somebody I think tried to make one of the accounts and they were able to make the account with the same name. And she's like, oh, well that person must have tweeted harassment at me and then changed their name immediately. <laughs> From like, and the name of the account was like ASDF, whatever. Just. Here's the logs of people that were timed out in Josie's chat. Okay, let's see these horrendously transphobic people. Here we go. Josie, you defended Maddie Cakes when she called Destiny a rapist. That's literally Destiny Derangement Syndrome. Very transphobic. Wow, I'm glad that person got banned. You have the exact time and place. Let's see what else. <clears throat> Hi, Josie, you're unhinged, by the way. Have a good day. Hate raid, absolutely. That's transphobic. What else? Mr. Anonymous. I'm here for the hate raid. What's up, guys? As a hate raider, I belong to a marginalized community in this chat space. Banning me is a fascist act of bigotry, discrimination, and oppression. That guy was probably transphobic. Richest Juicer. Kyle Rittenhouse should have submitted himself to the mob. Welcome to the internet where you're forced to hear other people's opinions even if you don't like them. Another hate raid. Yep, true. Let's see, what did this guy say? 41%, that's legitimately a transphobic comment. Cool that this guy got banned. Oh, I was gonna ban him in my chat, but I don't have a Twitch chat anymore, so. Let's see, Die Hard, make sure you bring up that person that killed themselves to get more victim points. Wow, another hate raider. <laughs> How did Destiny win and isn't even on the platform? <laughs> wow, another hate raider. Oh, he said more. Now you're just straw manning with an awful representation of the views on the panel. Let me enjoy your 10 followers, Twitch, and 10 fans. Wow. Real W there, buddy. Going back to that 25 average next stream, once people forget about you again, Nathan W. Another permanent ban. What a horrible hate raid. Oh my God. Yeah, I have more toxic chatters in one league game, <laughs> okay? <laughs> true. Absolutely true. Okay, cool. Well, hey, hope we'll probably get to talk again in the future at some point. So, yeah, let's yeah. do it. Let's. I, I'm always happy to do it. If you have some controversial issue that you want to talk about, you mm -hmm. know, I'm I'm more than willing to just come up, set up, and then and, and do this with you. Okay, cool. Well, hey, thanks a lot. I really appreciate it. Good luck with Thank your campaign. You so I got your I Twitter and everything it. linked. Yeah, thanks a lot All for right. joining. And, us. and the website, right? Yep. The website. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Right. Thank you so much.